check one two one two. We live, baby. Come, come, come on. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Can you can you can you hear me now? Oh, let's go. <laughs> it's your boy Big Chew, the voice of the beat. You know what I won't blaze up. Come on, blaze up. It's a beat for me. Wow, 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 wow
who who wants to know or that does a beyond the surface look at things, the morning jokes is the place for you. Okay. If you are a person who are not surface level, meaning like you don't just look at that and say that's what it is, and then you walk away. If you if you want to invoke any thought, if you're the type of person who like to invoke thought, rather you agree or not, the morning jokes is for you. Follow me over there. Subscribe to the Voodoo Doll TV podcast. Voodoo Doll TV, the Voodoo Doll TV platform. Because um, have they strawberry? I said. Remember we were talking about that on the morning Joe's? The prices have gone up. See, it's just if you if you think deeper than the surface, pull up to the morning Joe's. I got this one on this channel. Y'all go check it out if you might be interested. Um, but ultimately I made a mistake. But ultimately, yeah, shout out to everybody who pulled up anyway. It was a time we had fun. Uh, also, please, if you haven't already, subscribe to my Patreon. Also, follow me on all platforms. Girl, I tried to go live on TikTok last night, but apparently, you can't smoke no hookah on TikTok. Because, you know, after I get off here, I get my hookah and I get the blowing, you know. So, I went on um, I went on TikTok, and I'm just getting there talking. You know, I'm like, blowing my hookah, girl. And the people was like, oh, we got a time. You out for 10 minutes. I said, uh-uh, what I did? Turns out you can't smoke no hookah on TikTok. So I'm I'm still trying to figure it out. They only had like four people on there anyway because they don't know me over there on TikTok, but they will. That's the part. So you guys, follow me on all platforms because that's some, that's some of the things I will be doing. I didn't tell none of the mods, so y'all don't be mad at me. It was just some impromptu. You know what? I ain't go live on YouTube. I did what I need to do around the house. Let me just go see what TikTok talking about. But don't worry about it, because, girl, I went on it for 10 minutes. Not even that, girl. Them people say, get your ugly ass off here, and I say, my bad. You know what I'm saying? So I had to do that. I had to uh, to go ahead on and get up get up out of there, you know. Uh, they didn't they didn't take the lie. They just said, girl, we put you in time out for 10 minutes. I mean, the whoever on here going to see it. Everybody else ain't going to see it, girl. You, they act like I was on there doing crack or something. It was weird. I said, so if, I, if I was free basing that video... Then I could, you know what I'm saying? They ain't like I was over there doing crack. You know what I'm saying? Damn, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, nevertheless, we going to figure that part out, you know. But anyway, hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Okay, Courtney. Courtney says, love your content. You keep me entertained and in the loop on everything. Oh, thank you, Courtney. Thank you, doll. I appreciate you, my baby. Thank you, fat. Now, let me say another thing. Oh, yeah, follow me on all these platforms. TikTok, Twitter, Twitch, Voodoo Doll TV on all these. Let me say this. Also, if you need to find any of my links, P.O. Box, anything, it is in the description. Go to my YouTube page and hit that view about channel and all of that stuff going to pop up. So if anybody, um, if anybody uh, sees it, if anybody uh, needs to get any of that information, uh, that's where it is. So, you don't, you know, listen. Tevin said there'd be people on there smoking weed. Well, I'll be damned. They sure got me up out of there. Maybe they thought my, my hookah uh, holes was a was a crack pipe or something. I don't know. But they couldn't have. Girl, them people say, uh-uh, you, you consuming kind. They say you consuming um something that something, something, something. Mm-hmm. So I said, let me get up off here before these people get me up out of here, you know. Anyways, um, yeah, follow me on all of the stuff. Um what else I had before, housekeeping wise? Um, I want to say that's it. I want to say that's it. Let's get into this content. Oh, this is another thing I want to say. Sorry, y'all. Mm, fix this damn hair scarf. This is another thing I want to say, girl. So I decided yesterday. I said I ain't gonna go live. Ain't really much to talk about. I mean, I can make some shit up, but it don't make no sense. I was like, so I ain't gonna go live yesterday. Whatever, girl. When I tell you the people was looking for the dog. Girl, people was hit me up on Twitter. They was in my DM. That girl, y'all be looking for me. I love it for us. But y'all was looking. I'm like, let me give them a day off. You know what I'm saying? Even the mods. Even the mods, girl. They was like, well, you ain't going to lie to that voodoo. I'm like, girl, I thought y'all wanted a day off. Girl, the, the girl, y'all shout out to y'all. Shout out to y'all. Y'all really be looking for the doll. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I didn't know that, though. I thought I was like, let me give him a day off. You know, it ain't that big of a deal. Shit. Girl, people was hitting me in my DM on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok. Girl, they was like, voodoo, it's 530. Where you at? I was like, oh, girl, I'm not going live today. 
Oh, God. <laughs> y'all was dragged. Y'all was like, uh-uh, where you at? Where you at? So, you know, my bad, my bad. You know what I'm My bad, you know, I ain't know. I ain't know. But anyway, yeah, shout out. Oh, right now we are streaming live from, and let me see if I can go get it. We are now streaming live from Rumble, Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube. So please follow me on Twitch and Rumble as well, You okay? Um, Let's get into this content, girl. Let's get into this content. Now, we got a few things to discuss. Tyron Turner, you know, the dude from uh, Minister Society. That nigga gay. I mean, I'm not allegedly. That nigga gay. Allegedly. That nigga gay. Girl, the people ex. He went on an interview, and we gonna get into it. And they said, Suge Knight, you know, Suge Knight got a podcast from jail, from prison. Y'all knew that? Y'all knew that? And, girl... Suge Knight said that Tyron Turner, the dude who played Kane on Minister Society, he said that's Jamie Foxx's little boo. And they been, you know what I'm saying? So the interviewer asked Tyron Turner, they said, well, Tyron, uh, Suge said, he, th this is what the interview said, I didn't say it, but Suge said, you is round there plugging in the booty. Now, I don't know who doing who, but they said that's what's going on. And do you know Tyron Turner? We're going to get into it. Tyron Turner was like, y'all remember that sh that part on Minister Society when they caught him and they had him in the interrogation room? And it was like, where were you at 805? And he was like, I, I, uh, I, I, uh, and he was like, what about 806? And he said, and so you went, got the juice at 805. And he was like, yeah. Yeah, 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 805, 805, yeah, yes, that's where I got the juice. And they say, you know you fucked up, right? And he go, what, 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 you know you, yeah, because you said you got the juice at 803. That's how he sounded on this interview, real talk, real life. So it was in that moment, he never said no, he never said it wasn't true. So it was in that moment I said, that nigga, girl. but allegedly, for the purpose of the video, girl. And I keep telling y'all, y'all faves gonna disappoint y'all. Speaking of y'all faves, before we move on, let's get into this, girl. Because y'all was in shambles. Oh, yes, you were. Oh, yes, you were. Y'all was in shambles. Let me show you what y'all was in shambles about. I got to go get this part. Because, see, I keep telling y'all these celebrities is going to disappoint you every single time. Let me, let me show you what put y'all in shambles. Got to go get it. Let me show you what let me show you what put y'all in shambles, girl. Y'all, y'all, y'all was restless, couldn't eat, couldn't sleep. And I say, oh yeah, sound about right. Oh yeah, let me, let's go get what put y'all in shambles, girl. It was a time. It was a time. Yes, it was. This the part. Let me not this one. Not that one. Not that one. That one. Girl. This one right here put y'all in shambles. This one put y'all in shambles. How? This one right here. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Y'all was in shambles. Do you hear me? This one right here. Girl, I was laughing. I just checked them comments today. I just checked them comments today. And I said, let me go see what's going on in these comments. Yup, she knows. That's what they were saying. Not Denzel. <laughs> girl, when I tell you y'all was in shambles behind this photo right here, girl, they had people making up anything. Oh, it's just the, um, it's the Rockefeller sign. Denzel not like that. Oh, no, I know for a fact. Denzel not, not Denzel, not Denzel. Girl, these celebrities is going to keep disappointing y'all, Okay. This one put y'all in a chokehold right here. This one. See, it was a lot of things shared on here, but this the one that had y'all in the headlock. See, see, let me go. See, this is the name of the post. I said, I hate to interrupt y'all Sunday, but can we talk? Now, as long as y'all see this one, y'all was like, oh yeah, we could talk. 
Y'all, that's him. That's Jay Z and Harvey Weinstein. As long as y'all seen this one, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to discuss it because this is a time. This is a time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's discuss it. This one, oh yeah, girl. I already know he he ain't shit. Woot the woot the wham wham blah blah blue blue bleep. But baby, when I got to this one, y'all choked. Do you hear me? I heard a lot of. <clears throat> Girl, it was a lot of uh, 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 throwing up going on in the comment section. But I keep telling y'all, in order to be at the level of success in Hollyweird, that crazy society, you have to do some crazy things. Even your squeaky clean people, Will Smith. Oh, Will Smith had y'all gagging too. Oh, girl. Will Smith, Denzel, Angela Bassett. Just because they quiet don't mean nothing. Everyone had to be swallowed in order to get into where they at. They either had to be swallowed or do the swallowing. Either way, things were done to get them where they at now. Now, y'all got to be strong. Y'all, I don't know if y'all ready for this conversation, Okay. I don't think I want y'all to be ready. I think y'all should be ready, but I don't know if y'all ready because when I saw the comments under this one right here, girl, I was, let me tell you, I laughed at them comments for like 30 minutes at work today. I must have laughed about 30 minutes at work, girl. I, I was literally picturing people's response as I'm reading their comments and I can't even see y'all face, girl. It was a time, girl. The people was over there saying, <gasps> one person said, Y'all know this is photoshopped. Bitch, girl, girl, they went to say it's photoshopped and everything, girl. Girl, I say, oh, no, they not ready. They not ready. Girl, the people was on there saying it's photoshopped. Girl, that is 106 and Park in the background. Girl, ain't no photoshop. Girl, I say, they not ready. They not ready. Y'all not ready. Y'all not ready. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, y'all not ready. It's almost going to be the same when kids found out Santa Claus wasn't real. That's the kind of response it was in the comment section. It was very few people saying, bring it on, we don't give a damn. But the majority of y'all was in shambles. You, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but ultimately, I'll let y'all know when we're going to talk about it. But we definitely going to talk about it. Shout out to my dog, Nosy Whole Live. Shout out to my dog, no Nosy Whole Live. Nosy Whole Live talked about it on her channel. Y'all could go over there. Uh, support, follow, subscribe over there. She shared the uh, photos and she was talking about it over, over there on her channel. Listen, y'all not ready. Y'all not ready. Y'all not ready. Okay? Will Smith ain't who you think he is. Denzel ain't who you think he is. Angela Bassett ain't who you think she is. None of these people are the characters they portray to be online, okay? Or in the movies. I know it's going to hurt your soul, but you know. Mm. One more thing before we get into the rest of the con content. I will be doing, my birthday is next Wednesday. Happy birthday to the dog. That's my birthday. My birthday is next Wednesday. We will be doing a birthday, a live birthday bash. Yes. We will discuss some hot topics, but we will be doing a live birthday bash. So what I'm going to do is on, on next Wednesday, March 13th, that's my birthday. Y'all pull up. We're going to discuss. We're going to joke. We're going to do it like a regular thing, but we're going to also do a live birthday bash for everybody to, you know, come celebrate with the doll. You know, bring your little, whatever it is, roll up, whatever it is, woot the woot the wham wham. And we're going we gonna to turn the F up. We're going to turn up. So, yeah, uh, shout out to me. It's going to be my birthday, so it's all about me that day, okay? Um, so, yeah, y'all pull up uh, next Wednesday. I'm going to put up a little flyer or something for y'all. So pull up next Wednesday. All right. Let me get Denzel. I mean, yeah, Denzel off of here before somebody pass out like they did at uh, Michael Jackson concert, girl. Let me get him off of here. Because I don't, y'all, y'all, I don't want nobody passing out in the comments, girl. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's get into it. So not only are we talking about Tyron Turner, Rose's old lady, Christina Mackey, see, about a month or so ago, she was on there talking about how my man, my man, my man, my man, my man. And it turns out in today, today or yesterday, bitch, your man left you for dead. 
I literally put in her comment. I said, y'all meet me back in six months. This when she was over there hollering, my man, my man, my man. He, he bought, I think he bought us some new teats or something. And I said, y'all meet me back around here in six months. And I was miscalculated because it wasn't six months. It was 30 days. Now the nigga done moved on. Rick, Ricky Rose allegedly, he don't want you, bitch. He want to play sword fight, okay? Allegedly. He's another Tyrant Turner and Jamie Foxx. These Negroes is... Y'all don't be one to hit. Y'all don't be one to hit. That's why they go through these women and do these women the way they do. My only problem is, gay or straight, who would want Rose Big Nasty ass? Do you hear me? On top of them. Mm-hmm. How'd he die? On top of me. Girl, what? I wonder if worm food, I wonder if the girl ever, if she get triggered. The girl who was caught with worm food, y'all remember that? Y'all remember the girl who was caught with worm food? Um, the night he passed and went on the glory. I wonder if somebody ever asked how he died. She said, on top of me. It's just something I be thinking about in my head. You know what I'm saying? But I could just imagine that big nasty nickel. Oh, girl. Ugh. Just disgusting. Um, who else we talking about? Hold on. Let me go get it. Who else we talking about, y'all? We are also going to... Cam Newton speaks on the fight. Cam Newton spoke on the fight. And uh, 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 Steve Stout and Shannon Sharp. Steve Stout did an interview with... Y'all like the video, girl. It's 200 people. 200 and some people didn't like the video. Now, come on now. I ain't asking y'all for no money. Damn, like the video. Come on now. I'm going to give y'all a commercial break. But Steve Stout... And um and, and Shannon Sharp did an interview and it's some viral clips. We're gonna go over what he's talking about. Uh Stephen A. Yes, no, not Stephen A. Smith, uh uh, uh uh Skip Bayless and a couple other people. But let me give y'all a commercial break so y'all can like the video because y'all really doing the most and not the most at the same time. So go ahead and hit that X, like the video, come on back. We ain't going nowhere. Just hit the X, like the video, and come right on back. I promise you, Fed, we ain't going nowhere. Let me give you a commercial break. Commercial break. Like the video! Mic check, one, two, one, two. We live in. Come, come, come on. <laughs> That's right, okay. Can you, can you, can you hear me now? Oh, let's go! It's your boy Big Chew, the voice of the beat. You know what I want. Blaze up. Come on, Blaze. It's a beat for me. Drop it for your guy, for your B O Y. Do it for your guy, for your B O Y. Come on, baby, we are. Come on, Blaze, you know. Drop me a nasty beat. Girl, y'all got to like the video at some point. At some point, we got to get the like in the video now. Y'all be making the live last longer than it need to be. That's why the people be dragging me online, talking about voodoo. Ain't nobody got time to sit down for no three-hour lives. Y'all don't want to like the video, girl. I ain't got no tail, girl. <laughs> Rest in peace to Eric Mays, man. Let's get into it. Um, Can somebody, can one of my mods do me a favor? I need some timestamps. So I'm about to get into this. Um, this, 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 this. Can somebody just write down? Put it in the, in the mod chat. 
when, whenever I start, what time stamp we at when I start the next topic, please for me. And, and tomorrow, next time I go live, I'll have paper so that I can take my own. But just for the day, please, if any one of the minds can help me out, please just let's do time stamps because people say I be dragging it and I be doing too much and they say they ain't got time for that ugly ass shit. So I'm trying to, you know, appease the people. Let's get into the first topic, Ricky Rose and um uh, uh what's the little girl name? Christina Mackey girl. Let's go get her. Let's go get her. Let's go get Christina Mackey and Ricky Rose. First of all, Christina, see, you one of the girls like me. You got a, a, a light bulb head, like me. You know what I'm saying? And it's okay. That's a, that's all right for us. See, that's what God gave us. But see, it's something inside of my head, but it's nothing inside of yours, Christina Mackey. Christina Mackey done cat her behind. No, let me say how I want to say it. Christina Mackey, girl, wait, hold on. Go back. Look at this high piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? Because the people who ever did it, what if I was the ones that did it to them? You feel me? Like, that's not a good feeling when somebody out to get what you got, like, for no reason. You didn't work for this shit. Go get it. You feel me? Like, go get it. This bitch has the cost of living. This bitch has the cost of living. You can hear her slurring her words. This is on right now. This live. Look at Junior crying. I wish I was capping number one. She don't give a fuck. Y'all like whoop de whoop de whoop. What? I didn't. Even, I wasn't even gonna go live and say something about it. But you. Oh, she picking him up. Oh, thank what? God. Y'all niggas stop coming Listen. Uh, Junior ain't had on a shirt since he came in the world. He must be living <laughs> off the earth. What's the matter? He's so cute. Oh, pretty good. And he's, it's just sucks that he has the mama he have. Lord, you deserve cute. better than that baby. <laughs> Look at somebody say, isn't he supposed to be doing more now? But, um... The tag need my PayPal. <laughs> One second. <laughs> oh, he might be teething. <laughs> No she just against us shall prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. Now she going to praying, girl. I told y'all she be using God. Tell him the prayer go all the way down to the gate. <laughs> I want to play this song. But... <laughs> what is it so funny? What is it so funny? <laughs> Somebody said... Somebody says she has no idea. Call CPS. Girl, they called him the baby Charles Barkley. Now that's wrong. He just deserves so much better than her. He just deserves so much better than her. He just does. I hate that for the baby. Um, I'm about to get off of here. Yeah, get off of here so I can finish my I show. This little game I like to do with the baby. He's like in a goofy mode. It's like this little piano foot thingy I got him there. He, kick. he loves it. She's trying to show us his motor skills. Maybe she's on my hey, live. Girl, did somebody call a baby Cloud Jr.? You know, she's only half, 
she only have 19,000 people in her live. This girl used to go live and have 50, oh, 60. Why so laughing? He's so laughing. people watching her. Like, giggly right now. Hey. Hey. <laughs> What's we got so some funny? cool people in this live. What? He sound like he got a little coal on his chest, girl. So cute. He's so handsome. You can, you can tell he got coal on his chest. Yeah, he yells when he want to get up. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> It's a live video ended, but it's on. Get off of here, Broomhilda. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye. I told y'all this girl is very, very calculated. Let me tell you something. She's very calculated, y'all. She's very calculated. Listen to me. Now all of a sudden you on here with Junior. Junior ain't Junior ain't wore a shirt since he came in the world. But now you on here with Junior trying to show us. Oh, and you talking about toys? I'm like that girl watches everything. She's shitty. She's a shitty mother. That baby deserves so much better than her. I I feel bad that the baby has to uh to be stuck with her because I'm pretty sure the reason he sound like he got a little cold on his chest and he sound a little congested is because he ain't never got no goddamn shirt or no socks on. I know Krishan might think we in the dead of, of summer, but girl, we haven't even really made it to spring for real yet. Right, hood hacks? I ain't never seen a bib on a baby or nothing. Girl, they ain't worried about a location. They gonna catch him. Oh, yes, and from the smoke around him. Yes. I'm telling y'all, hashtag save junior. I've been telling y'all, hashtag save junior. Y'all, y'all, whoever was on that live with me on that on Patreon, y'all know we went up about it. Um, free ju junior, huh, junior. He la be do be da maluminati, huh, junior, huh, junior. He la be do be da maluminati. Can't you tell? He needs love. And a shirt. This girl. She, that's another thing, B Monique. This bitch in there with a hoodie on with the hood on. And Junior, Junior can't buy a vial to get him a coat. Do you hear me? This bitch is in there with a hoodie on. I'm pretty sure the AC on in that bitch. Or either that or she's just hot and musty. But I want to lean on the hot and musty part. I would like to lean forward to the hot and musty part. But this bitch is in there with a foot looking like she ready to go skiing. Here. And Junior, Poe Junior, Junior has been living off the land since he come in the world. I think the only reason he have a diaper on is because she can't bring him on, his, on the thing without one. Junior, ha huh, Junior, he la be do be da maluminati. Can't you tell? Can't, can't, I say, can't you tell? Christian and the Christianimals, can't you tell? He needs love. <laughs> Yo. Say a prayer tonight for Junior. For Junior. Tonight, we pray for Junior. Because at this point, 
The prayer she praying, I don't know where they going. They must be hitting the ceiling and popping her back in the head, bitch. When them, when them, when them prayers go up from her, them bitches bounce off the ceiling and pop up to her motherfucking head, bitch. Ain't no way they reaching past the ceiling, girl. Somebody, everybody, we might need to usher all the prayer warriors. I need all the prayer warriors tonight. With the, with, with, uh, usher the, uh, the, the people who speak in tongues. Usher the Pope. Usher all of the religions, all of them together. We need to pray for Junior, okay? Because without this prayer, girl, save Junior. You remember them commercials? They used to put them African churn on there, and they used to have them big old stomachs with them skinny legs, and they used to have the flies going around them, and they'd be saying, um, you know, save a child. We need to save ch a child right here at home. I think that um you know we at, at this point we can't save the children from over there but we got to save the ones at home so we're gonna start with junior okay somebody anybody call your pastor your priest call the the spiritual lady down the street get everybody over here we need to pray for junior okay because the more god gave him had to been a mistake. It had to been a mistake. But they say God don't make no mistakes. So I'm confused. I'm, I'm a little conflicted. But anyways, we gonna pray for Junior tonight. Somebody get, yeah, usher all the prayer warriors. If you, whatever you believe in, get them down here, okay? I don't care who it is and what you believe in. Whatever you believe in, call them down here tonight. We gonna pray for Junior. We gotta pray for Junior, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, KK, we can call the ancestors. We can call the pastor, the priest, the pope. We could call everybody. Who praying for Junior? Everybody praying for Junior. Okay. So y'all, we gotta, we we really have to, we have to do something. We need to step in because the government CPS ain't stepping in. They are not stepping in. Okay. So we gonna have to do what we gotta do to save Junior because that's at this point, that's the most important Junior, not that bitch. Junior is the most important. Now let's go get this dog on uh, T girl. So Christina Mackey, back to I was. This duck ass hoe was around here talking about my man, my man, my man, my man. But bitch, your man left you for dead and did. Cause now he done broke up with you and on to the next nigga or bitch, bitch nigga or nigga bitch. Do you understand what I'm trying to say to you guys? Are we tracking what I'm trying to say? Let's go get the, the article, girl. He done left a girl. Oh, Lord. Somebody, you know, I would say pray for Christina Mackey, but let that whole go through it and, and, and figure it out in stride. Bitch, I'm not praying for no whole like you, bitch. He, he bought you some new teats. That should be enough. Fuck I'm praying for. You know what I'm saying? We gonna save all our prayers for Junior. So it says, oh, looks like Christina and Rick Ross finally called it quits two weeks ago. Oh, what? She officially announced their breakup in a thread of posts. Now, listen, um, she said the situation was beautiful, but that ain't what you said the other day. The other day when the people was trying to tell you, girl, he like a little zick every now and again. Shout out to Kaya. But you didn't want to hear that. You said not me. Because see, it was that light skin on her. The light skin said that made her think that she was untouchable. You know, no shade if you're on here and you're light skin. But a lot of times the light skin girls, when they get with the black ugly ass niggas, you know, like, oh, like, oh, like, like Biggie. You know, he said it. I didn't say it. Rest in peace to Biggie. But he said, uh, heartthrob never, black and ugly as ever. However, you know what I'm saying? See, see, once we understand what the word however means, we get to understand that uh, uh, it's about subject verb agreement. Let's start that first. Um, when, when somebody say heartthrob never, meaning I ain't no cute ass nigga. A heartthrob, y'all remember, a heartthrob it was, was the man you seen on the magazine, them old uh, Idris Elba ass niggas. You know what I'm saying? He said heartthrob never, black, and ugly as ever. However, what what see see normally when somebody put but anything they say before but you just go ahead on cancel it out. That shit don't mean none. These motherfuckers just talking crazy. But when they say however, that means add this in too. So pay attention to what I said at first, and then add this part too. So when he say heartthrob never, black and ugly as ever. However, 
I stay Gucci down to the side. That mean I'm an ugly ass nigga. I'm big. I'm cockeyed. I can see five different ways at one time like a spider. But ultimately, I be having on Gucci. What's up? Was it Gucci or Gucci? Y'all from New York? If you're from New York, tap in. I need all my people from New York. Tap in. Did he say Gucci or Gucci? Because I know they used to wear Gucci back in them days too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, ultimately, heartthrob never. Black and ugly as ever, girl. That's big. That's big. It, they, he, oh, he said Kooji. Okay, he said Kooji. Because y'all know Kooji. The Kooji sweaters was popping. And he used to always keep on a Kooji sweater. So they, that makes sense. That makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Now, why am I saying this about Biggie? Because this ain't got nothing to do with Biggie. Rick Ross losing his old lady ain't got nothing to do with Biggie. But in a way, he does. Because Biggie was Rick Ross before Rick Ross was Biggie. Only difference is uh, 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 Rick Ross' eyes don't cross for the most part. Okay, so with that being said, his eyes are a bit straight, not all the way, they're a bit straight, but he's one of them heartthrob never, black, and ugly as ever. However, you know what I'm saying? And see, the light-skinned girl, Christina, thought she was going to just pull up, pull over, have that nigga gone in the head or whatever the case may be, and it was going to be that. But what she didn't understand is this type of nigga, like Biggie, have options. Girl, do you mean, listen, let me tell you something. Shout out to Faith Evans. You was a strong woman. You are a strong woman. Because, bitch, do you know how many years it took for me to get over my ex-husband cheating on me? And he ugly, he, that nigga look like Jay-Z with no money. Do you hear me? That's an ugly ass nigga. And every time he cheated on me, I used to want to kick my own ass. Because I'm like, you letting this ugly ass nigga do it to you, bitch? Come on now, he could at least been cute. So I understand uh, I want to. I want to first of all send my prayers up to um to to fate, uh, and also to Tia because it takes a strong woman to let a nigga who look like this do that to you. You know what I'm saying? I know I've been there, but she thought he was gonna just mind. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm cute, I'm light skinned woo woo the woo. Well, girl, that don't go like that. That don't go like that, fat. That's not how they go. That don't go like that. That don't go like that. Girl, special case said Biggie had charm, swag. I don't know about art. Girl, Biggie was a heartthrob, never black and ugly as ever. I remember that nigga was on that dog on um doing the interview, and that nigga was breathing like this. I thought that nigga was asleep, but he was up. You know what I'm saying? One of his eyes was over here, and the other one was kind of low. So I had only saw it from one side. I thought the nigga was asleep. That nigga was over there. Cause you know how they go. More money, more problems. You know, they say when you get more money, he come with the territory. I said, is that nigga, he got sleep apnea? Did he have, that nigga might, somebody get him a breathing machine. You know what I'm saying? But ultimately, he was all right. He was all right. It's just, you know, you know, he, he, you know, he, he, he. He just couldn't breathe that good. You know, shout out to Biggie, though. Rest in peace to B.I.G. You know, we all fuck with B.I.G., but I got to say that part. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yay. Um, girl, Biggie could have been, girl, a charm. He could have had swag, charm, and all of the above. At the end of the day, this nigga say heartthrob never, black and ugly as ever. However, girl, that's it. That's where you got to stop at. And then when you get close to that nigga, he... <laughs> girl, oh, girl, Biggie. Uh-uh, we not going to do that. We not going to do that. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Biggie, though. You know, I fuck with Biggie. Biggie, Biggie and Pac, I, I was there when the beef was happening. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, we can't we can't let that slide because he had charm and swag. See, only people we let slide with charm and swag, they got to be ugly like Jay-Z, but they got buku money. You know what I'm saying? Um, we, We'll let we'll let Jay-Z slide with his charm and swag because he, he like a billionaire. But Biggie, mm-mm, mm-mm. Moving on, let's get into this though. Um, yeah, let's get into it. So let's go get into what uh Christina Mackey had to say about her man leaving her. Indeed, bitch, your man left you for dead. 
It says, I've never experienced getting left. Oh, that will put that in quotes. I'm just docile. I'm just not docile. I don't feel played. The sales on MackieBody.com are thriving and I'm grateful. The situation was beautiful and I meant every word during our amazing six months. That's how y'all was together for six months, bitch. And you was on here capping like this. If others are upset about my joy and pride in the moment, that's their stress to bear. We had a clean break two weeks ago and I never pretended to be the last. I embrace both positive and negative uh, traction with love. And no, I won't be appearing on anyone's podcast. Oh, girl, Christina, go lay down. Go lay down. You you cannot sit up here and tell me you leaving the situation with no pride and love. Bitch, ain't no pride and love. That big nasty bitch, you know, put up with him smelling like chiwis and corn chip. The nigga been sweating all over you. You had to have the, you had to have, let him get on top of you and sweat come all down off you, smelling like hot dog juice. You done endured a lot from this nigga. The nigga snore like a bell. You know what I'm saying? You had to watch this nigga eat and the food fall in his beard. When he, when he passed gas, it feels like the end of the world. You done endured a lot. And this nigga done played on your top. Say that part. Say that part. You ain't gotta, you ain't gotta be strong for us, girl. Say, I put up with too much for this big nasty bitch to leave me on the side like this. He done lost his mother. That's what I would have said. Girl, you think I wouldn't have got on here and told y'all that? I would have said that big nasty, knock knee, slew footed bastard. That motherfucker used to used to wake up in the middle of the night, girl. I get his, I have to get his sleep apnea, his, his CPAP machine, bitch, to plug it up to that nigga nose because he done stopped breathing. I done had to do CPR on this big nasty bastard. I got to watch him eat. I have to endure his titties and his belly. And this bitch going to play on my top, girl. I would have, dr- listen, do you hear me? Do you hear me? There's no way. We wouldn't have let that slide. I'm not leaving with no pride and grace, bitch. Pride and grace. Bitch, you crazy. You wouldn't have dated no nigga look like no Rick Ross if he wasn't Rick Ross. You had to, to lower your standards and get with a big cheesy bastard. This big cheesy bitch. And he played on me, girl. I would have been on here dragging. Do you hear me? Girl, I would have said he had shit stains in his drawers. I would have made it up. I don't give a fuck. Even if he don't have it, I would have said that part. I would have said that part. I would have said one day he took his drawers off and he had poo in there. The fuck? Bitch. You're not about to play me like that. No, bitch. All the shit I had to put up with and endure and act like I wanted to kiss your big black lip nasty ass. Lips look like two black in mouths. And I got to be played like this in the media? Oh, girl, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No way. But, you know, ultimately, Christina, this is your fault and this is good for you, bitch. Because um, you thought you was going to be a different type of bitch. But what you don't understand is niggas are always guaranteed, guaranteed to do one thing. I keep telling you that. Niggas will always nigga. That's what they do. You can't expect nothing out of a nigga but for a nigga to nigga. Then listen, let me tell y'all something. When we are born, you know what I'm saying? In America, black Americans, uh, Ados, whatever the hell y'all want to be called today, you know, it changes the day by day. Whenever we are born in America, black people, we are only guaranteed to do three things, okay? Stay black, nigga, and die. Now, see, this type of thing is amplified in the black male species that I'm talking about. Because typically, rather you take a poor nigga, a rich nigga, a ugly nigga, a cute nigga, a, a dark skin nigga, a light skin nigga, a tall nigga, a short nigga, the only thing a nigga is guaranteed to do is nigga. Do you hear that? So you thought because you came down there with your bald head and your light skin that this nigga was going to be something different. Oh, she light skin. Girl, you ain't the first and you ain't going to be the last duck, duck, goose. You got on here pumping your chest out, acting like you was this, that, and the third. Now, look at you. I hope you're happy with your new teats. It was your pardon gift, bitch. He done upgraded you like Beyonce. Okay? 
So shout out to, uh, 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 what's this girl name? Christina. We never knew your bitch before, and we ain't gonna know you after this. So I hope you had a good time. I hope your six months was good. I hope you got a chance to uh, steal something from the house or something. Because other than that, um, yeah, that's a wrap. Uh, it's over for you, fat. You're going back to the slums where he found you, okay? And that's just that on that, okay? So moving on, who else I want to talk about on here while we on the shade room? Is somebody else on here? Hold on. Because, see, we're going to discuss a few things. You know what I'm saying? We're going to discuss a few things. Look at uh, me. She be drunk. <laughs> that girl be drunk as a skunk. I mean, I'm tired of her. I don't even want to see no liquor around her no more at this point. Meg, don't you have another bottle of liquor around you? Do you hear me? Not one. Okay? I'm tired of you and liquor. Looker has gotten you in a lot of trouble. You need to be around there drinking something else. Let's move on. Let's go get, um, I don't need y'all to watch while I search. It looks, it feels weird. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's go get, um, Steve Stout in them. Steve Stout did an interview with Shannon Sharp. You know, uh, Uncle Gay Shay, I'm sorry, Shay Shay. Sorry, sorry. Y'all know my, um, my, I used to take speech or something. I think my mama said that. My mama said I used to be in speech or something, I guess. I'm going to ask him when I get off of here. So sometimes my words might come out a little different. But you know what I'm saying? It ain't like that. It's just sometimes, you know, my words just be coming out. But anyway, Uncle Shay, Shay, Shay I'm sorry. He did a, um, he did a interview with uh, Steve Stout. Let's go get him. And in this clip, he's talking about uh, 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 Skip Bayless. Now, y'all know, if y'all don't know who Skip Bayless is, Skip Bayless is a clear man who's a sports commentator, but the nigga ain't never drip. No, I'm sorry, my bad. R rewind. Skirt, skirt. But the clear man has never dribbled a basketball. He's never thrown a football. He's never even played with his own balls, you know? But somehow... He decides that he wants to be a sports commentator, but the gag is just like the rest of the clear community, uh, 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 Stephen A. does not exist opposite, or, or I'm sorry, not opposite. Stephen A. Smith, not Stephen A. Shit, him too. Uh, he, 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 he. Um, what, what, Doctor Uma call him? He's a Negro pen, Stephen A. He's a Negro pen, but that's not what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, uh what's this white man? I just had his name. Uh, uh, um, Skip Bayless, Skip Bayless, Skip Bayless does not exist without a Negro in tow. And Steve Stout is going to be talking to Shay Shay about this because y'all remember that time he sons uh, Shannon Sharp, right? Y'all remember that? Y'all remember he had Shannon Sharp about the crime? Y'all don't make me go get it now. Y'all remember he has, uh, let's go get it before we look at this. And then this is going to put it into a lot of perspective. Let's go get that time that clear man had big old good old boy, Uber Gaby, Shannon Sharp was about to cry. Let's go get him. Mm-hmm. I keep telling y'all. These niggas be on some big old uh, uh, John Coffee ass niggas. You know what I'm saying? That, nigga, uh, that man told, uh, what you call it? He told Shannon Sharp, put your glasses back on. Yo, when he said that shit, I'm a woman and I felt pleased. I couldn't imagine being a man and another man tell me some shit like that. Girl, if we, if, uh, if, a, if me and a woman in a heated argument and that bitch look at me like I ain't gonna do shit and say, girl, put your glasses back on. Bitch, I might have to swing. Because, bitch, you're really playing like you, you know, you really act like I won't pop you outside your motherfucking head. But, you know, Shannon, he's a good old Joan Coffee-ass nigga. So he just sat there and he took it, you know. And um, and everybody was feeling sorry for Shannon. Y'all was calling for the boycott of the clear man, Skip Bayless, saying that he needs to be fired. And I said, the hell he do? He don't need to be fired. If that big collard green eating ass nigga Shannon Sharp allowed this little bitty clear man to do him the way he did him, these are two men. I say let him do it. I say, let it happen. I say, let it happen. Do you hear me? Who, who are we to step in? Shannon Sharp is a big old knuckle. And if he's scared of that little bitty clear man, then let it be, let it be. 
in my Beyonce voice. I think I'm gonna let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be, baby. Ow! Who the fuck do you think you are? Yeah, who you think you are? Okay. Um, is this it? Let me see. I think this is it. Hold on. No, not that one. Not that one. Hold on. I got to get this for y'all. Y'all got to see this. Y'all got to see this. Because at the end of the day, like I said, if Shannon Sharp allowed that little bitty clear man to sun him like that, then who are we? How are we going to step in on that man's behalf? We can't beat, if Shannon Sharp can't beat him, what are we going to do? Okay? Hold on. I'm going to get this shit. We're going to look at this. I don't give a damn. We're going to look at this shit. Oh, yes, we are. Oh, yes, we are. We're going to look at this shit. We got to see what's going on. Um, Shannon Sharp. Girl. Come on, our buttons. Let's go get it. All right. Um... Okay, here you go, 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 y'all, here you go. Brady had a problem. You said Tom Brady should have had a problem with Byron after Tom Brady and Byron Leftwich comes up with a game plan. And here's a guy that was not in the meeting when they came up with it, come in with his red pen scratching out stuff. Yep. Now Tom Brady is not up because most coaches, and NFL coaches, work between 80 and 100 hours in a five, six-day week. So Tom Brady the night before, he's making tweets when he didn't stay up those 80 to 100 mm -hmm. hours. So shouldn't they have a problem with that? Who, who do you think watches more tape, Tom Brady or all the coaches? All the coaches. Stop it. All the coaches. Stop Skip, it. I'm not going to let you do it. No, I'm not going to let you I'm do, going it. To do it. I don't care. Because I just I'm did not going to let you be disrespectful to these damn coaches yeah, because I'm, I'm you love Tom right. Brady. Nobody, Tom Brady does no, not watch more no, no than coaches. He does the history not. Of this league, Ladies and gentlemen, tape. that is a flat no, out lie. That's a flat out lie that you're perpetrating. Ain't There's no never way. been anything because you, you can't stand it that Tom Brady at 45 yeah. is still playing this game at a very high level. Yeah. Do you see these numbers? Yeah. These numbers say Tom Brady's not playing. Okay, then I level. need you. No, okay, you're that's in the not Hall of Fame because you're scared to death of him because he's haunted you. Time out. Ladies and gentlemen at home, I would like to announce the fact, if you're new to our show, that this man for six straight years on this show that we have been partners at this debate desk has tried to send Tom Brady home, said he's washed up, his arm is in decline, and he should just go on home. It started the first day of this show in September of 2016, and he has been wrong for six straight years, and he's going to be wrong again. I'm standing by what I said. How, how, how convinced are you Tom Brady to go okay. win the Super Bowl? Okay, I, I picked him to win it. No, I'm no, not no. backing off. Well, put something on it. Well, what do you mean? Put some, I put my pride on it. I put my pride. What I would do Who that. did you pick? You picked the Rams and I, the Chargers, okay? And, and the only difference is, the only difference is, everybody knows the Rams are bad, uh, but they don't want to say Tom Brady is playing just as I, bad I'm as that. I'm off. Skip, they're in the Tampa division. They're in the worst division in football. Good. Are they going to be in the playoffs? Tell me out. Skip. I need you to That's sit. your argument. Okay, that's I need your you. argument. What do you mean that's my argument? Your argument is that they're going to be in the playoffs. Is Tom Brady playing bad? Okay. Yes or yes. no? Yes, he played poorly yesterday. What do you mean yesterday? Okay. I'm here. But you're giving him 100% of the blame? I did. They, you had, they well, that, that's just, you, you have no objectivity. It's just straight Brady Skip. hate. Skip. Wait, wait a minute. This is just straight hate by a guy who's jealous that he is still playing at a high level at 45 when you had to stop at 35. Skip. That's what you that's do. That's the point. That's what you do. Every time somebody, every time I call something into question, I'm jealous. No. Skip. I did well, what I did. I never did. said you were jealous of Baker Mayfield. Skip. I did what I did. You make it seem like I was a bum. I'm in the effing Hall of Fame. Okay, I so got three Super Bowls. So what? So what? He's way better than you were. I'm better way than you were. Yeah, I got to see what you do. You take personal shots. No, you put I, don't, this I don't take personal yeah. shots. Time you time started time it. Time out. You would take a personal shot at me. I so didn't take a personal shot at you. Wait a minute. What are you talking about? You would take a personal shot. Put your glasses back on. Can I finish? You're willing to take a personal shot at me uh -huh. to say this man no, is better than me yet. because hey, I think he's playing bad this no, year? No, 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 no,
we not going to, no, listen. First of all, Skip sounded like he was about to cry, but it sounded like he was about to cry because what's his name was saying uh, that, that uh, Tom Brady is, is shitty. But let me say this part. The part where Skip said, put your glasses back on. The way he said it and the way he looked at him like, you ain't going to do a mother. Watch. Hey, look, look, look. You. Wait a minute. What are you talking about? You would take a person. Put your glasses back on. <laughs> Can I finish? Did y'all catch that? Person, put your glasses back on. <laughs> Can I? Like I said. Shannon Shay Shay Sharp is a big old knuckle. Why was black people up in arms? Because a big old knuckle let a clear man who's not even a third of his size tell him, put your glasses back on. Right, wrong, or indifferent, these are two men, allegedly. And what I know about real men is their boundaries and lines you do not cross. Well, apparently, to skip, there is no line. I'm going to let it finish, and then we're going to get to Steve Stout in his interview. Because, see, this is very good context to why Steve Stout going to say what he's saying. Peep this. If I finish, you're willing to take a personal shot at me to say this man is better than me because I say he's playing bad this year? Well, because you, you, you just, Go ahead. you disrespect him. It, it's just so, it, so it's you, beneath, you know what? It's beneath your you dignity. You would disrespect me to no. support him. No, well, I'll, I'll support him over anybody because he's the greatest player who ever have played your it. game and it's by have far. At it. Have it. Okay? Take off, I'm going to have at it because I'm going to have at you because what happened yesterday? Mm. I know you heard him. Good to see you, Shannon. You heard him. He said, I'm going to have at it. Skip, all I'm saying Hold is on. this. He said, I'm going to have at it because I'm going to have at you. What's up? You heard him. You heard him. You heard him. What's up? I'm going to have at it. Boy, only thing he didn't say was boy or nigga with the hard ER. That's the only two words he left out. Black people was up in arms. But what y'all don't understand is Shay Shay signed up to get talked to and sunned on first take or, or undisputed, I'm sorry. What we mad for? What we mad for? Shay didn't like it. I love it. I was confused as to why niggas was mad. If Shannon was really that upset, Shannon could have literally snapped Skip Bayless in half with one hand. But Shannon wasn't that mad. Why y'all was mad? I'm telling you, darling Nikki, darling Nikki, the only thing he didn't say was boy or nigga with a hearty R. And then right after that, Shay got fired. Now, God worked in mysterious ways. He sit high and look low. So what the Most High did was gave him a platform under some most clear people because he don't own Club Shay Shay. But ultimately, he's doing much more better and much more. So he's much more successful than that. Uh, that uh, that Crip Keeper Skip Bayless. Okay. But I was over here telling black people, mind your broke ass business. We see when these celebrities get into this shit, we need to mind our broke ass business. Let them people with that money and them people who signed that contract and the ones who are pledged to the Illuminati, let them deal with their own shit. That ain't got nothing to do with us broke ass. We got a lot of shit. Girl, they say he quit, girl. He got fired, girl. That was the same face. They always say that. He got fired. He got fired. He got fired. We need to stay in our broke ass lane. Didn't Krishan, didn't Krishan tell us we broke and mind our business? I feel like at this point, this is the first time she was right. We broke. We need to mind our business. Okay, now let's get into Steve Stout. Steve Stout did an interview on Club Shay Shay, and he made some really good points. Now, if you are one, one of those in my Dr. Umar voice, Negro pins, you are going to see problem with what he's saying, because there's always a nigga somewhere hollering about, why race got to come into it? It ain't about race. Y'all just trying to make everything about race. 
Black people always talking about race. We are all the same. Shut your ugly ass up, nigga. Shut up. Okay. Now let's get into what Steve Style had to say about a uh, good old skip. The man, I watch your ex partner, your, not your partner, your ex host, mm -hmm. Skip. I, I don't even understand why all these other black athletes even go on the show now. I, I don't even understand what they're doing. It, to me, it's so clear that he needs black talent, athletes, rappers. He's doing everything to prop himself up. And I, I know he's getting paid over there. And everybody else is getting pennies on the dollar. I'm like, why would you do that? Why would you go over there and do that? He clearly isn't the guy. He needs you. Why don't everybody lead a show and watch, let's watch him do it for, for a minute. That show would be dead immediately. They get, get all these guys over there. They give him pennies on the dollar and he and they prop him up. I'm like, we got to stop doing that, man. We can't do that no more. It, it's not. It's not worth it. And there's nothing that comes out of it long term, except what they benefit from. I actually said the man, I watch your ex partner, your, not your partner, your ex host, mm -hmm. Skip. I, I don't even understand why all these other black. You see, this is the thing. I like what this brother Steve Stout said because he spoke a word. What he's saying is listen. Why are Negroes still carrying their narrow ass down there to be sitting with Skip Bayless when you already know how he feel, what he does, and how he deals with Negroes, you know? He is no talent. He doesn't have talent. He's nothing. He don't even really know the game like that. He's a clear man who's a fan who probably had some type of ties through his mom, his pa, or one of his really crazy business partners that got him a job down there at the studio. This man does not exist on this show without a Negro to his left or his right. Okay? So what Steve Stout is saying is why is black men keep running their ass down there? I'll tell you why, Steve Stout. Because in, in within the, the theory of niggas niggering, niggas always have a price. Why do you think, thank you, Yolanda, why do you think so many black men cut their ass down to DJ Vlad? DJ Vlad is literally collecting data and everything from all you niggas so that he can screw you over. And they still run that boosie, still run your nasty ass down there. He, you still running your nasty, and that's what niggas do, because they always have a price. Why you, girl, I wouldn't have been disappointed in Michael Irvin. Right? Michael Irvin is a Negro pen, a coon. He's a coon in a Negro pen. He been like that. They respect clear media more. They respect cl clear everything. Hell, they still over there worshiping uh, white Jesus. He's a boy, Borgia. And he was a gay clear man. He was a gay clear man. And they still got him up on the wall at the church house. That's what Negroes do. That's what Negroes do. But you know what, Nikki? I know he said that. But see, this this was crazy. Boosie said he did it for the money. But it's a lot of people out here act like Boosie got money. Well, Boosie, if you got money, why you keep going sitting your ass down in front of Vlad? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Part of his part of his snitch deal for getting out. Was probably him uh, 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 um, sitting down with Vlad, giving him more tea so he could spill more tea and, and, and solve more cases. Let me clarify this statement because I don't want nobody to think that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying Jesus himself was gay. What I'm saying is this. Let me go get the picture. Let me show you. Let me show you. I'm not saying Jesus was gay. Let me show you. I'm about to show you what I'm talking about. I'm about to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Peep this, peep this, peep this. Wait yet. This, this uh clear man right here. Hmm, can I use that one? Well, it don't matter for all intents and purposes. See this clear man right here? 
You see him? See this clear man right here? They said that this was Jesus. Why G they said this was Jesus. Well, it turns out it's not Jesus. It's actually an actual human called named Caesar Borgia, who was a gay Italian. He actually was with Leonardo da Vinci. That was his old man. Okay. Yay. Yeah. That's what I meant. Just to clarify. So not Jesus himself. This clear man right here who poses as Jesus, who the, the people told y'all was Jesus, that's not Jesus. That's a clear man named Caesar Borgia who was actually a gay male. So all them years, all them years, black people was praying to a gay white man. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Both of them was gay. Da Vinci was gay and he was gay. They were lovers. But that's a story for another day. That's some type of uh, 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 morning Joe's type of time. We ain't on that type of time. But ultimately, ultimately, the part is, um, yeah, we have the, this, matter of fact, I'm glad I got him up. He's the reason why we accept the bullshit we accept. See, when they put him in our lives years ago, uh, maybe thousands of years, not thousands, tens of years ago, when they gave us him, maybe hundreds of years ago, we psychologically didn't even understand that praising him means praising all of them that look like him. But y'all, that's a, that's a morning jokes conversation. Let me get off of that. Back to Skip and, um, and Steve Stout. Steve Stout ain't said nothing wrong. Let me tell you something. The reason them niggas keep carrying their ass down there is because they can't, they, 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 they worship the clear man. That's what that's about. They worship the clear man. They worship him. Okay. No. So I don't want to get off on subject because I feel like I don't want nobody to feel no type of way because I don't normally talk like that in this crowd. But let me say this. No, that's not why Jesus got pinned and tied to the cross. The story of Jesus being pinned to the cross, that Jesus is different from the one I just showed you. The one I just showed you, the one I literally, the one I just took down, him, let me show you, let me go get him again. Him and was depicted and was talked about in the Bible are not the same. He is a real human that lived around, I want to say the what, 17th century, 18th century? He's a real human. Caesar Borgia. He's not Jesus. But the clear people told you he was Jesus. He's not Jesus. He's a clear gay male that actually lived about two, two, three hundred years ago. He real. He not Jesus. So the stories you read in the Bible, that's not about him. They just put his face on it. You see what I'm saying? I hope that helps. But ultimately, like I said, um, oh yeah, we're gonna do an educational Friday. See, I be talking about stuff like this on my morning jokes, but you know, um, they can't live without these clear people. And the gag is the clear people know it's the opposite. That's what this is about. But uh yeah, shout out to Steve Stout. Now, Steve Stout said something else. He did a they got another clip that's surfacing. Around girl, we gotta get to this. We gotta get to this. Hold on, where is it? So there's a couple of clips on this Steve Stout thing, right? So Steve Stout was also talking about uh, uh um. I'm sorry, y'all. I might go to Twitter and get it. I don't feel like looking for it on here. Let's see. It's a couple of clips. Is it, is it this one? Oh, Dame Dash. Girl, he was talking about Dame Dash too. And Jay-Z. Let's go get it. To show my versatility. Bro. But I was just more. Let me back it up. Why are you the best guy to interview music people right now? That shit is, you run with that, man. Yo, run. There is nobody. 
<laughs> there is no well, money. Nobody. I'm a sports guy, but I wanted to branch out. I wanted to show my versatility, Bro, but I was just more than a sports guy. The fucking baby interview, the Corday interview, yeah. even the Damon Dash interview, as fucked up as that was, he's a gigantic, almost, almost not. He blew it. He had Jay-Z. He had the most important artist of his so, generation. So, so what happened with that relationship? How did that relationship that was so good sour so fast? Dame's antics were just, it became like people also, over time, you mature. Right. It's like you, you didn't have friends at 16, but by the time you turned 19, they were still doing the same shit right. when you were 16. Right. And right. you're like, right. I can't. Like, yeah, we gotta I, I gotta, I, yeah, we gotta, you know, I, you start spending less and less time with them because right. of it. It's like one of those things where Dame, Dame wouldn't change the way he spoke to people, the way he treated people. His, he was angry. About what? Bro, you getting paper. He was angry because he had a strong perspective about his business philosophy. And if any time a partner of theirs tried to like go around him or um, meanwhile, people weren't going around him. The people around him wanted to meet with other people. Okay. They, they, people wanted were, were becoming less beholden to him, but he was unaware of it. Then he would like, you know, while he was building businesses, which partly he was, he would go off all around the world with cameras and girls and all kinds of crazy shit and then come back flipping out on everybody as if, you know. They were wrong. Yeah. Or, or like, why'd you guys do all this shit without me? Like, bro, you didn't build a business that was so operationally tight that you could just go away and come back and right. shit and be the same and all that shit. It wasn't even like that. Jay grew up. You know, Jay wanted more. I think Jay seen Dame's ceiling. I mean, I think that's really what it was. I mean, uh, uh, Jay seen Dame ceiling. You can't fault a man for wanting to get better. No, yeah, he wanted to. He wanted more, and um, everybody wanted more. I, I, Dame just had a very particular way of approaching it. He wasn't. He's far from stupid. Right. Very, very, very smart. Right. Uh, very talented. Ego through the roof, through the roof. So you, there was no working with him. Right. That, 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 no one wanted to work with him. There was no work. Yeah, as much talented as talent as he has, nobody people wanted got, to work with him. Want to work with Jimmy you. Iveen had this line: "When the shit gets bigger than the cat, you got to get rid of the cat." Right. Nigga, where's you going with that jean outfit on? That looked like a jean outfit I used to have on when um I think I wore it to a talent show in the eighth grade. Where is the who make jean outfits for swole niggas like Shay Shay? That's the first question I gotta ask. Who makes jean outfits? The pants look like leggings, jeggings. Matter of fact, they look like them pants, uh, super old man, razor me, razor, 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 them, um, them, 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 uh, I was gonna say biracial, them one size fit all jeans, them all one size fit all pants, like razor me, super thin old man. Y'all remember, um, um, color purple when, um, when Sophia and Harpo came in there and he, and, um, Harpo said, Miss, so Miss, uh, Miss Sealy, how's the pants that fit Sophia? Fit me. And she said, you're going to have to go in the back and try them on. And don't be showing us all your business now. And then he came out there and he said, ooh, Miss Seely, you sure is a genius. That's the kind of pants that um Shannon Uncle Shay Shay got on, and I don't like it. I don't like it. Who made them goddamn pants? Let me find out Razor got some new pants. Let me find out Razor done made some new pants. It's going to be a mother effing problem. First and foremost. Secondly, Steve Stout seemed to be taking the side of Jay-Z, which most people did, which is why Jay-Z went on to do better things. And basically, our other well, that and blackballing. But and then unfortunately, Dame Dash went on to, you know what I'm saying, do nothing. Uh ultimately, I know that was because of blackballing and all of that and all of this. Now, word on the street, legend has it, they said, I didn't say it, but they said. That um that uh, uh 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 um they was fighting over Aaliyah.
Put a one in the chat if you heard that. Put a one in the chat if you heard that when it was uh when all of this was going on. Put a one in the chat if you heard that this was all because they was fighting over Aaliyah. If you was old enough to be around during that time, put a one in the chat if you if you heard it. I know I heard it. I know I ain't the only one heard it. Oh yeah, okay, sound about right. Yeah, I see the ones coming through. Yeah, mm hmm. See, see, that's the part they ain't wanna tell nobody about though. She didn't want Jay Queen. She didn't. She wanted Dame. And Jay felt like, how could she? Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Y'all know how y'all feel about the dead people. You know what I'm saying? Y'all love y'all some dead people around here. But allegedly, they said that Jay and him wanted her. And she picked Dame. Mm-hmm. They said that's why the Rockefeller records uh, broke up. That's what they said. I didn't say it. That's what they said. Oh, I heard that too, Grape T. Allegedly. Allegedly. Now you got to say allegedly because I don't want the beehive to come sting me. But they said, Beyonce didn't like her neither because they said when they said, I didn't say it, beehive, don't come over here fucking with me, bitch. I ain't said it. I'm telling you what they said. Okay? But they said... That Beyonce was jealous of Aaliyah because Aaliyah was that bitch. And Beyonce was who? What bitch? <laughs> she was riding the high and say my name, say my name. And they said, well, what's your name, bitch? <laughs> Listen, I'm just telling y'all what they said. Don't come fucking with me, Beehive. I'm telling y'all what they said. That's what they said. They say Aaliyah was around there all in the videos, all in the movies, all in the TVs. Oh, they say Aaliyah was everywhere. Aaliyah was the prettiest girl at the time in the world. This is before you had to get a BBL. This is before that. This is when you, if you had a little booty like Aaliyah, it didn't matter because you was pretty. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, Nikki. Ooh, it's the L-I-Y-A-H. I got nothing to say. I got jazz personality, deep mentality, pieces of a train. Beyonce wish she could have bitched at the time. Now, don't come over here fucking with me. I'm just telling y'all what the people said. The people said around that time, Beyonce was around there saying, say my name, say my name. And Aaliyah said, ooh, it's the L-I-Y-A-H, like another thing. I got jazz personality, deep mentality, beast of the whole train. And they said Beyonce was like, bitch. I'm not, I didn't say it. I'm just telling y'all what they said. Okay? Aaliyah ain't had no booty. She ain't had no booty. But she was a beautiful girl. This is before you needed a booty. See, now you got to have a booty. Back then, you didn't have to have no booty. Back then, you didn't need no booty. If you was a pretty girl and you had a good attitude, you ain't need a whole bunch of makeup, you was a pretty girl. Matter of fact, people weren't even wearing all that makeup like that back then. Okay? But now, you got you, you to gotta have a booty. You got to buy you some titties. You got to buy you. You got to buy the whole thing. You got to be a whole, you know, a whole, you, you got to, you got to turn into Frankenstein for these niggas. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. If at first you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again. I remember, listen, I'm not no dancer, y'all. I'm not no dancer. But I was trying to learn that dance. When she said, you don't want to take it all away. I might be shy on the first day. What about the next day? And on that part when she on dance, and um, and, and, um, and then they go, mm, 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 mm. And then she go, mm, 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 mm. Y'all remember that part? It's put a two in the chat if you remember that part. When they go, dun, 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 dun. Put a two in the chat if y'all remember that part. I remember that part. I was trying to do it, but I, I can't dance. I can't dance. I can't dance. So it, I didn't, it didn't really hit for me. But in my mind, when I used to practice it in the mirror, I felt like I had it. But I would have never did it at no party or nothing. 
Like I wouldn't be at a party doing it. No, I, I, I'm not. Like I'm not gonna get to a party and they be like, "Oh, voodoo, do that dance." No, I, I ain't doing all of that. I ain't doing all that. Okay, but yeah, this was a time. So Dame Dash seen this interview and he didn't like that too much. Mm mm. Dame Dash said he don't like this nigga. Let's go get it. Ride the boats. Work it in the middle. Change positions on me. I'm stroke it, baby. Yeah, stroke it for me. Stroke it for me. Stroke it for me. Oh, yeah. I just thought about it. I need everybody in the chat to do me a favor. I need you guys to wish Grape Tea News a happy birthday. Today is Grape Tea News' birthday. Happy, happy birthday to Grape Tea News. Drop a cake, a heart, a like, or something in the chat for Mr. Grape Tea News. Shout out to Grape Tea News. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Ooh, your favorite holiday. Yes, shout out to Grape Tea News. We want to give Grape Tea a fellow a happy birthday. Okay, we got to do that part. Okay. Now, let's go back into it. So, Dame Dash didn't like that, girl. Dame Dash said, this nigga got me fucked up. That's what Dame said. So, um, oh, yeah, before we move to Dame Dash. Now, I didn't say this part neither. This is what they said. Don't come fucking with me. This is what they said. But they said that um, Jay-Z and Beyonce had set her up for the Illuminati, girl. They say they sacrificed that girl. Now, I don't know this to be true. I'm just telling y'all what the rumor was back then, okay? So don't come fucking with me, beehive. Fucking with your witch. I mean, your bitch. I mean, Beyonce. You know what I'm saying. Y'all know I have to take speech and all of that. Let's go get what Dame Dash had to say. So Dame Dash seen this, and Dame didn't like this. He didn't like this at all. It says, update, Dame Dash says he previously had to smack the shit out of Steve Stout as he reacted to businessmen claiming his ego ruined his relationship with Jay-Z. Let's go get it. Come on. Now, now y'all know Dame, you know, Dame is a special type of person. I like Dame Dash, though. You know, Dame Dash to me, I would want, Dame Dash would make me want to sleep with him because I like how, like, arrogant he is. But in a confident way. It's not arrogant to where he thinks he's better than nobody. Well, yes, he do a little bit. But I, I just love his level of confidence. You know what I'm saying? So I, I give, I, if I didn't have a man and I seen Dame, I'd give him a little something. A little something. You know, i let him woot the woot the wham wham. You know, not too much, but just a little. i let him put the tip in or something. You know what I'm saying? And I, I don't know why. I, I like them type of niggas. I like a nigga who know. I like a man who know what it is, who he is, and he ain't going to back down. I let him put the tip in. I ain't going to lie. I let him do that. Fuck. Shit, ain't nothing wrong with the tip. They said, right? Ain't they said there ain't nothing wrong with the tip? I'm just saying. Let's get back into it, girl, because y'all be doing the moves. Anyways, so Dane says... This is the reason I had to smack the shit out of Steve Stout. He added him too. A couple of years ago. See right there? I let him put it in right there. I, I might let him go past the tip right there. When he get on here and at the nigga, he added the nigga. You know what I'm saying? He put an address on it. I let him I let him just go in on it. I'll be like one time. Just go in one time and come out. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why. But anyway. It says, this is the reason I had to smack the shit out of Steve Stout a couple of years ago. Because he's always speaking on other men's business. Good thing I've evolved. Hashtag stay tuned. Hashtag club Shay Shay. Hashtag culture vulture. You get it? Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Dame Dash. Now, do I believe Dame Dash was an a-hole? Absolutely. Is a pig pussy boat? Yes, we've seen him be an a-hole. I like that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, that got a nice little ring to it. That do have a nice little ring to it. Let me go get it so y'all can see it. It got a nice little ring to it. I like that. That, that felt good when I read it in my eyes. So I know when it come out of my mouth, it's going to hit a little different. You know, voodoo dash. Uh-huh. That felt good when it, when I seen it, so I knew it's going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's not. That's got a ring to it or whatever. You know. But neither here nor there. Um. 
at the end of the day, Dame Dash said what he said, you know, and that's that on that. Okay. New Orleans, if you're on here, I forgot to add your, I forgot to add us to the document, to the docket. New Orleans, Louisiana. If you're on here and you're from Louisiana, please come up here. I need everybody from Louisiana up to the front of the congregation. Line up shortest to tallest. I don't want to hear no shit. We got an L to take. If you're from Louisiana, New Orleans particularly, drop a floor to lead in the chat because we got a lick to take. New York get that shit. Uh, uh, Philly, even though what we do is wrong, they get their shit. Everybody get their shit. I need all of the New Orleans people and Louisiana to get your ass up. Matter of fact, if you're from Mississippi, y'all get up here too. Y'all ain't got nothing to do with it, but fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about it. Look at this shit. Hold on. Hold on. Pause. Pause. That's what, you know what, pause is what Birdman should have said. So Birdman, all video resurfaces of Birdman letting Diddy, y'all know Diddy, kiss him on the head, girl. Kiss him on the head. I didn't, I felt, I felt uncomfortable at this point. And I blame the city of New Orleans in, in Louisiana because we knew this nigga was weird. We knew Birdman was weird, but we didn't care because he had cash money records. So now we got to take this lick. Come, come on, get you. Come on, New Orleans. Y'all got to get up here. We got to get up here and we got to take our lick, okay? Look at Diddy. Diddy been a freak and a weirdo since the beginning of time. Do you hear me? Look at this. Hold on. Let me turn it up. <laughs> You'll be outstanding, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 I was just you man. Nigga, stop working out though. Just start man, like get in the gym, though, nigga. Something. You know, so I ain't gotta work out neither. You, but you know something, my thumbs is so strong from carrying all that paper. But y'all hold on, check it. Look at the stop. You gotta do this. Do I work? 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 If you ain't have enough style to give me a pair of rebots, I ask you for a pair of rebots today. You, you ain't got no clip. Yeah, fresh. You ain't even hook me up. You'll have in the morning, they think a boxer. Hey, yo, check this out. This is Diddy. This is that boy they call Diddy. I'm here in the biggest. This is not even, this is just the play around mansion. Believe that. This man. boy is really for real. He's number uh -huh. one stunner. I guess what he, yo, yeah, he yeah, passed yeah, it, I got pass it to him. You know what I'm saying? I was the number one stunner. I'm a, I'm a, I'm like a superior stunner now. You know, I'm gonna graduate to my master's degree at stunning. And, and you, and he the number one. He's the one that's, you know, how you have, I'm like Kennedy. You feel me? And he like Clinton. I was the president for shit. Yeah, hey, man. No. Yeah, yeah. That's OG there. I'm, not, I'm just <laughs> we, we check this out. But, at, but at the end of the day, we it's in my we we, we we it's all, all one love. and this we in his mansion. Believe it's one of many. He owned the whole motherfucking God. block. God, that's it. <laughs> but yo, check this out, cash money bad boy, and we Believe won't that. stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. We'll see y'all at the club. Uh -huh. We're on BT uh -huh. in a week. Yeah. And you will definitely be upset. You will definitely be upset because you will be outstanding, motherfucker. Oh, yeah, I'm going to let it play back. Nigga, start working out, though. Just start, like, get in the gym, though, nigga. You know something? I ain't got to work out, neither. You, but you know something? My thumbs are so strong from carrying all that paper. But y'all, hold on a second. Look at the stop. You got to do this. Do I work? Do I work? Do I work? Do I work? If you ain't have enough style to give me a pair of rebots, I asked you for a pair of rebots today. You ain't got no clip. Yeah, fresh. You ain't even hook me up. You'll have them in the morning. They think a boxer. Hey, yo, check this out. This is Diddy. This is that boy they call Diddy. I'm here in the biggest. This is not even. This is just the play around mansion. Believe that. This man. boy is really for real. He's number uh -huh. one stunner. I, I guess what he, yo, he, he yeah, passed I got to pass it to him. You know what I'm saying? I was the number one stunner. I'm a, I'm a, I'm like a superior stunner now. You know, I'm gonna graduate to my master's degree at stunning. <laughs> and, and you, and he the number. One, he's the one that's. You know how you have. I'm like Kennedy. You feel me? And he like Clinton. I was the president for <laughs> shit. He the man, no? yeah. that's OG there. I'm, I'm just but we, but check this out. But at, but at the end of the day, we it's in my we, we 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 it's, it's all love. one, and really? it's we in his mansion. I feel like baby let him hit. Mm -hmm. I feel like baby let Puffy hit, because you know back then we, they called them Puffy. I feel like I feel like baby let Diddy hit. I feel like he let him hit. I believe that. I believe that night, look at look how he's jumping on him. I believe that night he let him hit. Girl, baby looks so nervous and he looked like a girl. He looked like a girl. Women, if you're on here. Women, if you're on here. 
when you be around a man that's hella aggressive, but you're not trying to make it seem obvious that you um you uncomfortable, don't you just be like, look a baby, look a baby. Look a baby, bitch. He, I think he let him hit. I think he let him hit. Mm-hmm. See, knowing what we know about Diddy today, when you look back at footage like this, you be like, oh, Lord. You know what I mean? I think he let him hit. I don't care what nobody say. He let him hit. He definitely let him hit, you know? It's just it's just disgusting. Uh, ill, number one. Two, baby once again has given the whole state of Louisiana a L, particularly New Orleans. We have to take a L because baby was a bitch ass nigga who let Puffy sun him and kiss him on top of his bald head. Look, look how y'all on that girl. Look, these are two grown men. Look. This is a shame. This is a shame. It's so funny. You know what's so mind fucking about this? This whole thing watching this? Because looking at it, Diddy is acting like the bitch physically. But you can tell on the inside, Birdman was the bitch. Look. Y'all, we watched this nigga get up there. You know me. I don't need no introduction to shit. Ride business around the city. Zone buttons, you bitch. Arm um, hanging, wrist banging, bitch. Down, you bitch. And you act like a bitch in front of Diddy, girl. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. New Orleans, Louisiana, we have to take a L. It is our turn. We don't get many, but it's our turn. We are taking an L for this one right here. Now, New York, y'all so y'all take so many L's. Diddy is a walking L for the state. Upstate, downstate, by the state, and by the water. So we just going to leave him out of it this time. We just going to take it. But ultimately... New, York, New Orleans, we got to take this lick. Oh, yes, we do. Louisiana, we got to take this lick. Mm-hmm. We got to take this L. Mm-hmm. We do. It's all for us. This, yes, Special K, this L for Nola. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. This L is for Nola, okay? These two gay-ass niggas. I don't care what nobody see. These are two loose-wristed ass niggas and i don't mean taking a free throw do you hear me these some two headed ass ass niggas okay stop Dwayne. it looks like baby wanted to say stop sean oh my god sean stop it so weird so weird i just wanted to get us up here um and say that part new orleans we got to take a l uh, and that's just that don't i don't want to hear no no argue no fight no fuss in louisiana we got to take the lick okay girl this is a shame get them off of here get them off of here at this point get them off of here who else we got on here before we get to um oh what you call them tyrant turner cam newton let's go get cam cam did an interview Talking about the fight. Yes, he did. He had an interview to tell everybody who was going on with the fight. He he spoke about it. Let's go get it. Was it here? Girl, I got Buku notifications coming to my phone. What the? Oh, no. Before we get there, I forgot to put Lizzo on here. So a clear content creator came on there talking about African-American vernacular English. Is bad English. And Lizzo decided to come out of, she must have paid this clear woman to do this because this bitch act like this big nasty bitch come out Lizzo. This bitch act like we forgot she wasn't around there abusing the big women, calling them big when she wired it all outside. I feel like it's a setup, but I'm going to talk about it anyway because it's something got to be talked about. Lizzo done got her big nasty ass on here to, to check a clear woman who was on here talking about, um, who was on here talking about uh, African American vernacular. Let's go get it. Which is stupid ass. She's like, or even better, why don't we bring back gatekeeping so that AAVE is reserved for the people who created it and grew up speaking it. So that all these people who are now talking like black people because they read words on the internet 
and don't know the origin and don't participate in the culture, don't overuse it. And then things like this happen because ganglish is definitely the new thug. When police would call someone a thug, but it's really a black person, which is the new hard R N word. I know so many people who have said type shit, type shit their entire lives. I've heard them talk like that for years before it became trendy on the internet to say that. But maybe if these internet people get sick of it, we can just continue to use our dialect in peace type shit. It's Jay. Bitch, speak English with your stupid ass. She's like, or even better, why don't we bring... I believe Lizzo paid this lady to do that, but that's not neither here nor them. She had a good point and she's right. See, the problem is we don't gatekeep nothing. Everybody is invited to the cookout. All they got to do is listen to black music, know how to dance, or, or screw a black person. And everybody is invited to the cookout. Everybody. Black people, this is our fault. The whole black America got to take a lick for this one. Because y'all got these people coming around here so much so they get to say whatever it is they want to say. And, and we just sit there, uh -huh. I didn't even know they called it African American vernacular English. Bitch, just say Ebonics. It is a whole nother language. And Lizzo, you shut your big ass up, bitch. You forgot what you was doing. You, for you thought we forgot what you was doing around there to them fucking fat girls around there calling them girls fat, you big nasty bitch. You shut your ugly ass up, bitch. We ain't forgot, bitch. I don't care. You see, that's why I feel like she paid for this. She paid that lady to come do this shit. That's why I feel like she paid that lady to come do this shit. Because see, she trying to sneak back in like we forgot. That whole trying to come back through the back door. No, bitch. You thought we forgot you was round there calling them girls fat and nasty and cheesy and was round there trying to make them lick bananas and shit, bitch. We ain't forgot about your big nasty ass. Go sit your ugly ass down. It should have came from somebody else. You should have you should have paid somebody else to see. Sit your big nasty ass down, bitch. We not letting you back in. No. We not letting you back in, you big bitch. And I'm only saying that because you was dragging the other big woman on your team. ridiculous okay i just want to put uh put that on there too let's go get um who i was oh cam let's go get killer cam not that cam not not cam not the one who wear the pink puffy uh coats not that cam this a new cam this another cam you know not the cam who wear uh bubblegum coats and who rap like this soda pop Popping soda, running round town in a brand new rover. Dip set, nigga, we round the block. Pop, 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 go the soda, pop, pop. We don't, we not talking, I'm not talking about that cam. This is a different type of cam. You know what I'm saying? This cam actually played football or something. You know what I'm saying? This cam is a different type of cam. This cam got real talent. Not that ugly ass shit you was doing down there with them set. Okay? This a different cam. Okay? I'm just trying to tell y'all what's going on. We got to look for the right cam. You know, I don't want nobody to think that's the cam we talking about. That's not the cam we talking about. This a, is this a different cam. He a little fruity too. He a little fruit cup too. But, you know, he actually good at what he do. Quiet as it's kept. You know what I'm saying? See, you, you, you not good at what you do. You just old flashy ass, you know what I'm saying? Popcorn, you know, you know, you know, soda pop ass nigga. This cam is actually good at well, he good, he better than you at what he do. Let's just say that. Let's go get the other cam. So Cam Newton. He did an interview, uh, and they were asking him what happened with that fight. Y'all remember that fight he had? I can't show the fight because you two be tripping. But do you guys remember that fight that happened? He spoke out about the fight, and this is what he had to say. Hold on, not check. We don't care about him. Y'all do know Cam talk like, I mean, rap like that though, right? Pop and pops, cam and pops, pop 
popping on sodas because the soda pop pops. I told my homie to grab the blicky. He grabbed the kidneys and I grabbed the sticky. I'm with jewels, jewels, and sands. Running around with everything in my hands. Soda popping, soda pop. Popping on soda because the soda pop pop. Yo, I wear my Timberlands in the sun or in the snow. Because soda popping and popping on pop, that's what we do in Harlem, nigga. What's up, pops? Soda popping, popping on pops. Soda pop popping because the soda pop pop. Soda popping, popping on pop. Soda pop popping because the soda pop pop. Y'all know that's how, but is that how, not how the nigga be rapping? Is that not how the nigga be rapping? Y'all know that's how he be rapping. Now, I ain't the only one heard him. Y'all heard him too. Don't do that now. Don't do that. Y'all heard him too. Yeah, Ashley, Dr. Seuss says, nigga. Y'all heard him. Y'all heard him. Now, I ain't the only one heard him rap like that. Now, don't do that now. We all heard it. We all heard it. Everybody heard the same thing. Don't get on here saying that I'm tripping. Okay? Dr. Sue says, nigga. You know what I'm saying? He said okie dokie before. He probably did. He probably did. He probably, That's the type of shit he do. That's the type of shit he do. You know? So shout out to Harlem. New York. Shout out to New York. You know, y'all always come. I don't know how y'all, even when I, I just gave y'all a pass on Diddy and somehow Cam just popped in. New York, it's just inevitable at this point. You know, if I was from New York, I ain't gonna lie. I wouldn't even, I'd just be like, girl, we already know something's gonna happen where we are gonna have to come on here. You know what I'm saying? And defend something. So, you know, it is what it is at this point, New York. Um, yeah, shout out to New York, the whole city, upstate, downstate, and by the lady with the green thing in her hand. Shout out to New York. Let's go get what Cam said about that fight, girl. He did say Kowinky Dink. What he what was the song he said Kowinky Dink? He that's how he talked. That's how he rap. That's how he rap. I might have to add that to the mixtape and put a verse on it. Soda popping. Popping on pop. Soda pop popping. Cause the soda pop pop. It ain't no kawinky dink the popping on pop. Cause soda pop popping on the soda pop pop. Okie dokie, noki, shoki. I don't give a damn cause my soda pop is poking. All I know is round the block. The soda pop popping on the soda pop pop. Soda popping, popping on pop. Soda pop popping on the soda pop pop. Soda popping, popping on pop. Soda pop popping, okie dokie pop pop. Y'all know how it goes. Shout out to Cam. Shout out to Cam. Shout out to Pink Cam. Uh huh. Shout out to Pink Cam. Shout out to Pink Cam. You know, he probably, you know, he, he one of them niggas. He ain't have to go in the booth. What he need to write? He ain't have to write nothing down. What he write? What he writing for? Girl, please. That type of shit come from here and from here. You know when um when um what's his name when uh 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 uh, uh Ike was telling her it's gotta come from here and it's gotta come from here. No, not with Cam. With with Cam it come from here. It come from here. So he ain't gotta do nothing. He, oh, what's the beat? Oh, I got the all right. Bad. Let me in that beat. You know what I'm saying? Now 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 Jim Jones was trying to write his verse, but you know they said I didn't say it. They say Jim Jones don't read or write. Now, I don't know if that's to be true. They say he's one of the loose-wristed boys, too. I don't know that to be a fact. I'm just telling y'all what they said. They said Jewels was the only one writing. That's what they said. They say in, uh, 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 Joel, Jewels was writing because Jewels is on that shit's naive. They say he was high as the cost of living every time you turned around. Now, when his teeth fell out and he was a ball mouth bastard, he then decided to marry Kim Bella. And, uh, 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 she just knew she had her prize. Girl, your nigga got veneer. No, your nigga got dentures, girl. He got to put him in a glass of water on side the bed. Now he want to marry you, girl. I ain't got no tail, girl. Girl, please. This is crazy. You know what I'm saying? But shout out the dip set to Harlem. You know, drive me off in Harlem. Good old, good old Harlem. 
man shout out to new york man y'all crazy all right let's go get um let's go get what happened what he said let's go get it let's go get it y'all because we gotta stop now we gotta we gotta get back serious let's go get it so this is what cam had to say about what was going on because Cam say, I'm going to say what I got to say. Now, y'all know Cam was over there uh, swinging them, cheering around like it was nothing, you know. But ultimately, um, you know, he 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 want to say his piece. Now, he got rid of the, uh, the, the witch hat and he put on a new hat. Peep this. Now, this is Shaq with some clear man who probably bending his big nasty ass over. Who knows? And, uh, and they on that podcast. So let's get into it. That's not the first time that happened. It's probably like a six or seven time meeting. Yes, sir. You've always been very hospitable to me. We know mutual people and they all say you're a nice guy. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you this question. Why, when I look at clips of you at your little football camps, kids feel they could talk to you any type of way? It's the access. Access. Like when you, and just, just to give you context, right? So anybody who knows me know I'm a, I'm a product of my environment, born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, what you saw was those are grown men. They were, those weren't kids. So that narrative was familiar coaching, you know, and it got chippy. For me, that's not the first time that happens. And honestly, knowing my world, that probably won't be the last. I think really quickly, Cam. Now the people said I didn't say it, but they say Cam is real arrogant when he be coming out there. Now, in my opinion, I thought football was about arrogancy. That's why they be on there cursing each other out, telling everybody they're gonna screw their mamas and all of that. I thought that was part of the game, the, the shit talking. But you know, one thing about niggas, niggas hate a successful nigga and everybody else is not successful. So I feel like it goes both ways. Cam probably is cocky because it is Cam, but then ultimately, girl, it's football. Like, what are we talking about at this part? Girl, whatever. Looking back at it, yeah, people see like, yeah, Cam standing on business. Yeah, Cam had bobby pins in his head. You know, those are all funny things. But when I look at it, it's like, man, it could have got ugly on both sides. Because I'm the type of person, when I feel triggered, I react. It's not, come on, Shaq, let's go get him. Come on, mm. let's go. I'm not that person. Mm. You say something to me, and I go. I, I don't think, and that's the issue. And that's where my whole support was 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 kind of caught off guard because we were talking, something was said. Real quick, this ain't got nothing to do with it, but Cam looked like he was breastfed. Y'all know them breastfed boys look different. You know, they they a little more stocky, they're a little more, they're a little more heavy boned. You know, Cam is a fine man. That's a I mean, he a little fem, a little loose wristed, and that part throws me. But I'm just looking at his body and without the clothes, you know what I'm saying? And looser pants. He Cam is a fine ass man. Cam is finer than a bitch. I ain't gonna lie, he fine. That's a fine ass nigga. He need to take that hat off and loosen them pants up. Them them capris, them knickerbockers he got on. Let's go back and look at the knickerbockers. See, this is a this is a very important part to this. We got it. Look at the knickerbockers. Y'all see these knickerbockers? Do y'all see these knickerbockers? This right here is where my mind gets to going this way and that way, topsy dursy. Because I don't know where to go with this. It's the knickerbockers for me, you know. If he just had on some regular pants instead of the knickerbockers, he would be fine, you know? But when he wears stuff like the knickerbockers, it really, you know, it, it sends my mind, you know, I can't appreciate how fine he is because the knickerbockers is in the way, you know? I don't like that. I don't like it. But you know, fashion evolves because in the uh in the uh 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 seventies uh, they wore tight stuff, and in the thirties and forties, the thirties and twenties they wore tight stuff. Then they get baggy, then they go back regular. You know that's how I go. You know, but they no, they not high waters, y'all. They knickerbockers. They not pedal. They could be pedal pushers, Nicole. They could be pedal pushers, but I'm gonna go with knickerbockers. I feel like knickerbockers is more important. I feel like knickerbockers is more more appropriate for what we what I'm looking at. You know what I'm saying? See, look at look, 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 look. Let me show you. 
This is how you know they're not high waters. They too high off his ankles. High waters be around your ankle, but they don't touch your shoe. These is not no high waters. Look, high waters normally stop right there before your shoe start. That's what they call high waters. Okay? Okay? Now, capris, those are tricky. Because capris can often be mistaken for knickerbockers. But the thing is, the difference between the capris and the knickerbockers is the knickerbockers are normally tight around the calf areas. These are some knickerbockers. I know what I'm looking at. I used to wear them all the time in 2000 and 2001, 99, 98, 99. Girl, matter of fact, the girl had them on in that cash money video. On, on, in that back that thing up video when she was on the stage, she had on a pair of knickerbockers in a um in a a, a halter top. I know knickerbockers when I see them. I used to wear them. That is knickerbockers I'm looking at. It's giving. Hey, wait, didn't tell you what's giving. It's giving. Hey, Mister Knickerbocker, bop a dee bop. I like it the way that you bop a dee bop, baby bop and shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, baby bop and shit. That's what it's giving. I know what I'm looking at. These is goddamn knickerbockers, okay? Now, let's get back into it. I just didn't like that part throws me off. And, you know, it's like I don't, you know, I, I didn't want to see that part. I wish they wouldn't have panned that far down because I would have, you know, I would have kept into the fantasy. But when I saw the calves all tight, you know, the pants around the calves tight and them knickerbockers, that, that really, it confused my mind, you know, and it, it stopped being sexy for a minute. But take the knickerbockers off. He could even keep the head. Just take the knickerbockers off and I could deal with it. You know, let's go back into it. You say something to me and I go, mm -hmm. I, I don't think. And that's the issue. And that's where my whole support was, was, was kind of caught off guard because we were talking, something was said, and then it was like, Hey, hey where are you going? I'm going to use the restroom. So and then, but that's just how I rock and roll. You know what I'm saying? But I just have to be better. And I want to use this as an example for athletes, entertainers, people of influence, guys like your son, because they know the Shadours of the world, the Brownies of the world, you know what I'm saying? That is high like a, a, a target to people where you just want to chill out with your friends. You may want to be at in and out burger. You want to go to Chick-fil-A. You want to just go to a hookah lounge. You just want to hang out. Somebody going to say something triggering to you. And it just takes one time. No cap. And I don't know who podcast this is. Is this Shaq podcast? Shaq, I just have one critique, baby. I like the setup. It's cute. It looked like y'all in the living room. It looked like it's a bachelor pad type of feel. You know, I like that. But Shaq, I'm going to need you to get a white background because, nigga, you is blending in with the damn uh, backdrop. I didn't, if, if I didn't see legs right here, I wouldn't even thought Shaq was here. Think about this. Think about this. If I didn't see legs, if I, in matter of fact, not just legs, if he didn't have these pants on, I would have never known it's a nigga here. So my only critique, and again, nice, beautiful couch, beautiful ceilings, high ceilings. I'm here for all of that. But um, I can't see you, nigga. Go ahead on and get a white backdrop and put the words in black because the, the black on black is black and on black. And, and I can't see you. This nigga about to emerge from that black spot like smoke. Like, you know what I mean? I can't see him. Shaq, if you're on here, or if somebody who knows Shaq on here, call Shaquille. Tell Shaquille, go tell the people where he ordered his backdrop from. Tell him you want to flip the, the colors. Put it from black, all black, and then the white letters to white, and then the black letters. Because this not... You know, you don't want to get lost in the backdrop, you know, or maybe move the backdrop behind the clear man. Then, then, you know what I mean? And then flip the cameras that, that way. But then you're not going to see Cam. So just go ahead and tell him, I'll uh, give you another backdrop, baby, because this ain't it. This ain't it. Go ahead. I'm sorry, y'all. And ugly because I could be, I could be in jail. Somebody filing a lawsuit. Who knows what happens? You know what I'm saying? They could have, you know, been prepared. We in Atlanta. Next to a gate. What happens if someone goes over that gate? You know? tell you. Yeah. But you were even talking about just like clips of kids in the past. Yeah, I, I saw one where some kid was just, y'all was just going back and forth. You never, 
You never said to yourself, kids, you're not going to disrespect me. Get out my camp. I'm going to show you how to respect a person like me. Get out my camp. I mean, because I, I had that happen to me one time. A kid was talking grease. I was like, my man, you got to get out. I paid my money. I don't care. You got to get out. Mm. Like, you just, because it's a pecking order thing. Like, you Cam Newton. Yeah. You legend in this game. So if I'm a kid, I'm like this when you're talking, especially if I'm a black kid who want to be quarterback. I'm like this, but, you know, like you said, we we product of, of our environment. We're used to going back and forth, but you don't talk to a Cam like that. You don't talk to a Shaq like that at his, at his camp. Like, have you ever said, no. hey, kid, get out? Shut your, shut your mumbling ass up. Shut your... You don't talk to a Cam like that. You don't talk to a Shaq like that. You don't talk to a Shaq like that. You, you, I, I'll be watching you, and I, I, I always wonder why the kids be doing that to you because, oh, dude, you know, because you see you, you Cam Newton, you know, you don't talk to a Shaq like that. You don't talk to a Shaq, you know, you don't talk to a Cam, you don't talk to a, a Joan Coffee like that. Blah, 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 blah. Shut your ass up. That ain't what it's about. That's why these churns. It's fucked up around here uh, 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 going in on these adults. Your ass should be saying them church shouldn't be talking to no adult like that, period. Whether it's Shaq, whether it's Cam, any of them goddamn coaches. But no, see, you niggas got your heads up your ass. Now all of a sudden, you Oh, yeah, should be talking about them Cam. You Cam. You, you, you Cam. You, 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 you. I'm Shaq. Shut your ugly ass up, Shaq. Shut your big nasty ass up. It ain't about that. That's why these children don't have no respect. Because y'all only want to respect the ones like y'all. No. They asses need to be respecting everybody. See, back in the day, when them churn joined that football team, the coach would knock your child upside the head. Nowadays, these moms won't come to the practice. They won't sleep with the coach, but when the coach won't, won't hit your baby upside the head, now, now the line is drawn. No. The mamas need to stay out of practice. And, let, and, 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 and sometimes some of these churn need their head knocked off. Some of them need their head knocked off the swivel a little bit. They can put it back on. That's why they don't respect no damn authority. They don't respect no adults. Because if they respect a regular adult, then you wouldn't have to be having this conversation because they but damn sure gonna respect your big ass. Them children need to learn how to respect adults, period. But adults is our fault too because we be glorifying and laughing at bullshit like churn cursing and all of that. We gotta stop doing that too. And we wonder why they get 13 and talk call Cam a bitch ass nigga. Ridiculous. Come on, let's get up out of here. Let's get finished with this so we can get the tyrant turn and we can get the hell up out of here. I say it like this. I never started. I always finish it. You know what I'm saying? Any Like I'm, I mean, I got my president here. I got, you know, head of digital here. Like I joke with them all the time. You know, I will always tell them like I got my PhD in talking. <laughs> I got, grew up with a house, a, a very masculine house where brothers and cousins and playing basketball, playing football, like you just go around, you know, and using talking as a tactic, you know, and I can talk it in the church. I can talk it in the streets or whatever, but for kids, they, we living in the, uh, in a time where instead of seeing a shack and saying, Oh my God, this shack, we see these kids now say, Oh, that's shack. I'm going to try it. And I'm going to go viral for it. You see what I'm saying? And and that's just where we are. And it's not that that's an issue, bless you. It's not that it's an issue. It's more or less like I just got to go down to their level to bring them up. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, yo, bro, because there's been many times that somebody tried me. And when I when I match their energy, then they play the victim. Well, let me say this. Part of the reason why, another reason why these churn don't respect these celebrities or why people in general don't respect celebrities, because celebrities put everything out there. Like, at one point in time, y'all remember, if y'all old enough to remember, before social media, when you saw a celebrity, it was either on a TV, on a movie, at the awards, 
but it, or, or in a newspaper or, or in a magazine. You don't know who these people are, how these people are. You don't know nothing about these people. All you know is this is a celebrity. Celebrities have made themselves too accessible to the public. Only uh, there are a handful of celebrities you don't hardly ever see on, on no damn social media. Beyonce, Angela Bassett. You know what I'm saying? Very few celebrities and they keep that distance because it gives you that all oh, it gives you that oh my god that's angela basket basket oh my god that's beyonce because the bitch ain't online every day like cardi or like nikki with her husband it you 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 take that 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 wall that was there that separated celebrity from regular person it now it it, it just falls so I'm just saying outside of kids, the regular public feel like you one of them now. So they not going to, they're not going to, to respect you in that regard because they can reach you. They can touch you. They can go to your page and DM you and you might respond or they can comment under your post and you might like it on. So it's, it's not the same. It's not the same. That's one thing. Secondly, Celebrities like him, he does a wonderful thing for these boys, but ultimately he got to be careful because when you go in with your arrogancy that you have amongst your peers, that's one thing because everybody kind of on an even playing field, but you are going amongst the poor, Cam. You already looked at as this rich celebrity. And when you go amongst the poor with that same attitude that you have amongst your peers, it can come off a different way. Most kids that play sports come from broken, poor families. These are facts. Most black kids that play the two top two sports, basketball and football, come from broken, poor families. Now, let's add all the elements. You got this rich celebrity who you deem is rich, and you can reach him. You can touch him. He's right there. You see the nigga on social media. He always did that in the third. Now he talking shit. Girl, fuck you. So we got to be careful with that. These celebrities have to be careful with that because when you drop that, like somebody put it in the chat, when that mystique disappears, you become easily accessible. And when people feel like you easily accessible, that respect that they normally will have just because there's, there's a mystery behind who you are, that respect that would normally be there, it goes away because the mystique goes away because you one of me, bitch. Give a fuck how much money you got, nigga. You be on Instagram with me on live. Nigga, we both be going live on Instagram. The fuck? Nigga, you like my comment. You ain't nobody. So I'm just saying that. But, you know, ultimately, them children was still wrong for fucking with Cam. He's still an adult. See, I come from the school of, I don't give a damn what the adult said. You a child. You come tell your mama. You If, if somebody doing, if another adult doing something, you come tell me and I'll go check that adult. But you don't do that. You don't, you, you know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the era I come from. But I, you know, that's old school now, D. They don't do that no more. Not when I came up, if something happened, something going on, my mama said, you come get me. I couldn't even go back and forth with the teacher. Because get what? The teacher said, oh, she talking back? My mama going to pop me in my mouth even if I'm right. You don't go back and forth with no teacher. You call me. I'll come up there and deal with her. But you, you don't do that. You stay in the child's place. That's where I come from. But these churn, they don't, they don't know nothing about that. They don't know nothing about that. And that's why we have what we have. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, uh, Cam, you beat the ass anyway, so it don't matter. You you took a one, you took a dub, but he like he said, it could have really ended bad. It really could have. It truly could have, because if it had ended bad, girl, them people could have sued Cam. Cam could have uh went to jail, somebody else could have went to jail, like. You know, you got to be careful. Everything is a cloud chase nowadays in 2024. Everything is a cloud chase. Let's get in. Let me see if this is our final story. I think this is our final story. Hold on. I think this is our final story. Tyron Turner. Girl. Yeah, this is our final story. This is our final story. Girl. Let's go get the, uh, let's go, so we can, let's go get, let's go back into some nostalgia before we get into this interview. Because first and foremost, I didn't even know these niggas was friends. I did not know Tyron Turner and Jamie Foxx was like this, literally, allegedly. 
um uh what's it oh menace see menace to society movie let me put that in there movie Kane. no you know what i could do Kane. how you spell this name was it k-a-n-e or c-a-n-e there you go there you go let's go get them let's go get them now you guys remember this nigga here which nigga boss that nigga there do y'all remember him look at him y'all remember this when he was in the drive-thru Remember he was in the drive-thru at all? Uh, what they be eating out there on, in LA? What in and out burger? What a burger? You know that type of shit y'all be eating. Type shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't. You know we don't have that in the South, so I don't really know much about that that West Coast ass shit. But ultimately, y'all remember when he was in the drive-thru and all uh, and all uh, all uh, uh, he saw the nigga in the front with the trues and bows. Y'all remember that? He had he had the rims. Was that trues and bowls or did he have twenty? What he had twenties, fifteens? What he, what kind of rims he had, y'all? Fat burger. That's what it is. Fat burger. That's what it is. Now y'all remember him, huh? Y'all remember him? Remember he jumped out the car and jacked that boy. He jacked him, and then um the boy was like, "Come on, man!" And he was like, "Man, shut your ass up. Give me your, give me everything." And he took his chain. And he took his cell phone. And he said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he said, get me a, a, a water burger, whatever burger. He said, nigga, I said with cheese. Y'all remember that? A fat burger. That's what it was. Fat burger. I went and, and ordered me a fat burger. And he's like, uh, uh, yeah, can I get a fat burger? Nigga with cheese. That was Dayton's. All right, Dayton's. It was Dayton's. Y'all remember him? Y'all remember him? Growing up, I thought he was a gangster for real. I thought this was a real gangster in real life. You know? Even, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Even, let me fuck your head up. Can I go on? I'm gonna go get a video. I, I would rather a video. And I, I already know I can't play it how I wanna play it, but I'm just play a little piece. A little piece, a little piece, a little piece. Y'all remember this too? Hold on. Y'all remember this too? Hold on, let me make sure y'all can see it. Y'all remember this too? Might have to drop. Might have to drop a dime on them niggas. Sure. You know what I'm saying? I don't like that shit. For sure, bro. I don't like that shit. Might have to drop. Might have to drop a dime on them niggas. Sure. You know what I'm saying? That shit. Sure, bro. I don't like that shit. You know, when he had the banana sitting on his lip, you know, the little peels from the banana, I ain't gonna lie. Oh, the... <laughs> Saying hush, you heard something? I ain't gonna lie. Um, when okay, G money, this your first comment. Welcome to the dollhouse, Fefe. What is that, bro? Hold on, y'all. Let me go see something. I'm going to leave the, the microphone on. I'm about to get my blicky. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What you hear? Because I did hear something, too. uncles what happened listen to me and listen to me good my child saw danger lurking 
He heard it and he was balking. It's the people across the street. They uh fixing the trailer. But look, a saint came. He was ready, wasn't he? My child is a pit bull, ain't you? Oh, thank you for protecting your mommy. <laughs> thank you for protecting your mama. Mm -hmm. Say hey to your aunties and your uncles. All right, now get on down. But thank you for protecting me. Now, next time, you got to make sure. I know. All right, now you're doing too much now. All right, I done gave you your props. Go lay down. Go lay down. Okay? So, look. This was a real nigga to me. This used to be a real nigga to me. Girl. And let me say this too before we move on. The coldest movie scene, in my t in my in my opinion, the coldest movie scene. I gotta get up here and say this part. The coldest movie scene ah. was on Belly Saint. Shut your ugly ass up. Okay, listen. The coldest movie scene on Belly was when um. Let me go see if I can find it. Saint, I, I, give me my mother. See, I shouldn't have gave him too many props. I shouldn't have gave him too many props because, see, he get the egg and the food. Go lay down, Saint. Go lay down. I don't know. I already said you was a pit bull now. You, it done gone to your head. Shit. Huh? Give me my belt. Give me my belt. Bitch, let me tell y'all something. Look, 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 look. I'm gonna give him a treat. I got him. I'm gonna tell. You, I got. He got buku treats up here too. You want to know the coldest movie scene ever, bitch? Now I ain't gonna play the um the audio because I don't want to get flagged or whatever. When them bitches say, "Ready? Are you ready? What's going on? What's going on?" However do you want me, however do you need me, oh, however do you want me, however do you need me, oh, I'm here to say, da 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 However do you want me, however, however do you need me, oh, I always, I always like that part the most, oh, however do you want me, however do you need me, oh. And you know what else was mind blowing about this? I had fantasized about Belly not even knowing that nigga was on that shit. Do you hear me? I didn't, the fact that I had to look back, rest in peace. But I had to look back and and fantasy and know I was fantasizing on a crackhead girl that really fucked my head up. Let me see. There you go. Oh, I can't play this. I can't play this on here. TikTok. Now they gonna let TikTok on here, but I can't smoke my hookah, girl. TikTok, y'all is fake. TikTok, y'all is fake as fuck because y'all wanna let Bootay and Titties on here. But when I put my hookah on here, you want to time me out, girl. Tick, girl, TikTok, go lay down. See. That's what I be talking about, girl. These, these people be fake. These people be fake. These people be fake. Y'all want to see. They, we can watch the titties, but I can't smoke my hookah. Girl. 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 TikTok, girl. Whatever, girl. Bye, TikTok. But this was the realest part, though. This was the realest part of the movie. This was a time. You never watched it because you was a scared queen? You scared of their context? Girl, that was the best part. You know what else was the best part? Y'all remember this part? Get me on here. Y'all remember when Keisha had found out he was messing with that little girl, you know, thinking back, that was wrong. That little girl said she's 16 or 17. And she was like, he ain't never do nothing, but he let me wooty wooty wham. That was fucked up. But look, when Keisha had, had found him in the shower, y'all remember when Keisha had confronted him in the shower and they had that glass shower and it was all foggy? Y'all remember that part? And, um, and Keisha was like, you know what? Fuck 
you, nigga. You think you're going to keep fucking over me? And da, 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 da. and she walked away. And Keisha was a fine-ass bitch. Do you hear me? Keisha was fucking fine, bitch. That was a fine-ass hoe. Oh, you know what I'm saying? And then he came, got off the shower, and he grabbed his towel, and he wrapped his towel around him, girl. And, you know, DMX was a little bull legged. He was a little bull legged. Just a little bit. And you know them skinny boys with the bull legs? I ain't say, but they say they the ones got the... The blow up balloon, you know what I'm saying? But girl, he had grabbed that towel and he wrapped that bitch around. He was like, "Come here, Keisha." I was, "I don't know no Keisha. I don't know no Keisha. I don't know no no, no no Tanya. I don't know no Tanya." And she was like, "Get the fuck off me! Get the fuck off me!" And he said, "I'm telling you, I don't know no Tanya. I don't know no Tanya." And then he pushed her on that bed, and girl, the thing with the cutting and cutting and cutting. Ooh, I'm getting chills thinking about it. I'm getting chills thinking about it. I was, I am, I got to calm myself down. You know, I can't get like this on, on the live, but it was a time. It was a time. I ain't going to lie. It was a time. It was a time, girl. Oh, Lord. Oh, yes, it was a time. It was a time. Yes, it was. Whoa, yes, it was. It was a time. Yes, it was, girl. But that's not, that's not why we here. Listen, listen. This is the perk. The point I'm making is Belly, that scene was fire. All this that was a fire. I might watch, I might watch that bitch when I get off of here. I might put that up, pull that up on my phone, see what's what it's streaming on, girl. I might have to go see, you know, make myself, you know, give me a good night. You know what I'm saying? Just that part. Just that part for real, for real. Give me get sleeping good tonight. You know what I'm saying? But we weren't talking about Belly, girl. We were talking about Kane, girl. That's what we were talking about. We were talking, to, that was 98, girl. I was in high school in 98, girl. I was in high school. But that part, when I seen that part, oh, Lord. I was experiencing things I probably shouldn't have been experiencing. You know what I'm saying? But whatever it was, girl. Mm, mm, mm. Whole time, we didn't know. Every time they say, cut. DMX was take, taking that crack pipe going, cold-blooded, man. That was cold-blooded. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, that, that, that'll that fuck with a bitch head. You know what I'm saying? Um, Let me tell you something. If I know I would have gave him a little piece, you know, because he had that scene right there, and the next thing you know, he, you know, was, girl... I don't know if I would have been able to come back from that. You know what I'm saying? Like something in my heart would have, you know, whatever, whatever, you know, but that's not the here nor there. Um, ultimately, uh, rest in peace to DMX. The movie was amazing. The cast was amazing. That's the hardest I ever seen Nas look in that movie. And he, even then, he still was a little bit, you know, cushiony. But it was a good time and it was a good movie. Those were the days. Those were the good times and the good days. So shout out, you know, um, to the people on the movie and all of that. But let's get back into it. So Tyron Turner, the, the interviewer, let me see who, who this was, interview him. Hold on, let me go get him. Let's go see who interviewed Tyron Turner, girl. I ain't got no tail, girl. Tyron Turner did an interview, right? He did an interview with, let me go get it. Hold on. I don't want to lie. I'm over here thinking about the past, girl. And fuck me up. But that shower scene when she was like, and when she she confronted him about that shit, girl. I don't give a damn what nobody see, girl. That that was a time. That was a time. That was a time. That was a that was a time. Before we get into that, let's talk about he talking about his role in belly. This is shout out to the art of dialogue. Don't strike me, uh, people. I ain't even dog on monetize. Don't strike me. Fuck. Fair use. All the dialogue. You got all this money and all these people. You don't need to strike me. Fuck. But look, let's go get this part where he's talking about um the movie belly. Let's go get it. Then we're gonna get into why we're here. Cause after this, I gotta go, y'all. Y'all be doing too much. Y'all be keeping me on here. Y'all already know. I talk too much. Y'all be having me going off on tangents and all of that. That's why we can't never get out of here on time. Look. Belly, how did it come about you getting a role in that movie? And I heard that you tried to mess up the movie because they lied to you. Yeah, I was just trying to fuck the movie up because I I wanted to be the lead character in the movie, and that's what Hype Williams told me when we when we that was the deal we made. He was like, he gave me the script, and he was like, yo, I got something, man. You, I 
I got this movie called Belly. I want you to be the main character. I want you to be the movie. I'm like, okay, cool. He gave me the script, read it, love it. Next thing I know, stop, shop, shut him down, open up, all this. He's like, hey, they got this hot dude named DMX, man. He's going to be the next such and such man in the movie from New York. And we thinking that it, it would be dope. But I got something for you. And I'm, I'm not like, I'm like, all right, all right. And so then um, we get there and uh, it's this dude that's, he's like a, a snitch. And I'm like, okay, so I'm from, so I'm just I'm just annoyed at the character. I'm like, the I'm like, man, I want to really be like the lead character that you promised me. So I just like I'm walking at the uh, the catering. And I'm like, man, I'm just gonna get this ugly ass banana. I don't give a fuck. I'm just I'm just gonna start creating some bush. It with this goddamn character. I went and got a banana, start eating the motherfucker off. I'm drop down. I don't like them. I'm. I'm just saying. I'm just gonna. I'm just being ignorant with it. It blew up. Well, hold that banana part because that's the part we are gonna talk about with Jamie Fox. Uh, he said he went got a banana and started eating it, and and he even did that. That what he said. I didn't say it. But hold that banana part because that's a very important part. Now listen. He was asked a question by the guy from Art of Dialogue about his uh, time with Suge. Well, no, not his time with Suge. So Suge Knight got a podcast, and Suge Knight came out uh, and said that Tyron Turner is Jamie Foxx's old man. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Okay. You know, and he asked him, he said, well, Tyron, is this true? Because the people said, I didn't say it. This yeah, is the man come said, on, Hold man. on. The man said, I didn't say it, but they said, talking about Suge. Suge said that, and um, like, first on. of all, I, I don't know. He said that you was, you was a little fruity cup, you know? And this is what, this is, this was Tyron Turner's response, okay? We have to get Tyron Turner's response because Tyron Turner, he didn't say no. He just said a whole, he even threw Will Smith and everybody else under the bus, child. He said everything but no. Y'all keep telling y'all, y'all face going to continue to disappoint y'all. Eric Bishop, a.k.a. Jamie Foxx, is a fruit cup, allegedly, too. Now, one thing Suge going to do is say what he got to say. Okay? Now, he said everything but Suge is a goddamn lie. His big nasty ass behind prison. I'd say, fuck Suge. I'll fight that nigga right now. But I, I would say that knowing that he never getting out. You know what I'm saying? But he didn't say none of that. Let's get into what Tyron Turner had to say. Suge Knight, you know, a few months ago, you know, he posted a video of you on his verified Twitter. And, you know, he had a right. wild caption with it, man. He said that she was Jamie Foxx's ex. How you feel about him saying that, man? Yeah. Come on, man. Like. First of all, I, I don't know, you know, I don't think me and Suge have, I thought we squashed it, whatever that was. So I'm thinking that's what it is. So, and then I heard earlier, you know, that uh, his his thing was hacked or whatever his, his Twitter was hacked. So I give you, you know, if Suge wanted to talk to me, he he know how to contact me. He contacted me the last time we had an issue, an altercation. So he figured out how to get to me. So I'm sure he would, you know, I'm sure there's some kind of jail phone in there that kind of, re could, you know, reached to me. I would have never thought in a million years that Suge would, would say that, would put something out there like that or somebody being gay like that, especially in the time that we're living in where it, it's okay. I had a I had an uncle that was gay. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing wrong with it. So it, it's like it, really corny. Yeah, I, yeah, I heard, like, I, I've never, the, I've met, look, I've, I've, I've met Will. Will has always been cool, chill. I heard the, the little assistant dude come on and, and say some something about some some you know ain't no situs you know whatever that ain't no stuff whatever that is like I don't I don't know I'm just saying I heard what the dude said but for me Will Smith ain't never like he's always been cool a cool person I never I don't I don't know I don't know that side and I know there's always two sides to a story you know what I'm saying but I don't know that side I know there's a back side but that's not the side I know Suge Knight you know this right here is what I'm gathering. Uh, from this whole ordeal when he responded this is all I heard listen to me and listen to me good when he responded this is all I heard 
One second. Don't listen to me, you little bitch. I'm gonna ask you some real something. About 11.15? He, I bought the beer and I accidentally dropped it. You bought the bottle of beer at 11.15? At 11, yeah, at, at 11.15, I, yeah, 11.15. Then why wasn't the bottle cleaned up? Why be, did we find it still there, spilled on the floor after the shoot? When I was, after we was leaving, after, after I left, other people was coming in they, when we was leaving. But you don't remember what they, what they look. I, but you bought the bottle of beer, definitely. At twelve fifteen. Yeah, it was twelve fifteen. Like that, if I'm not mistaken. Now you see something. Now you see. Now, you done fucked up. You know that, don't you? Mm. I see. see what I'm saying. I, I, no, I I thought. No, so you know what I'm saying that you done I, fucked up. Now you know that, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Um, Tyron Turner, Tyron. Tyron, Tyron. They say art imitates life. But allegedly, life is imitating art. Do you hear me? What the hell is this? Tyron, 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 get your ass out here. What happened, Tyron? Posted a video of you on this verified Twitter. And, you know, he had a wild right. caption with it, man. He said that she was Jamie Foxx's ex. How you feel about him saying that, man? Yeah, come on, man. Like, first of all, I, I don't know. You know, I don't think me and Suge have, I thought we squashed it, whatever that was. So I'm thinking that's what it is. So, and then I heard earlier, you know, that uh, his his thing was hacked or whatever, his, his Twitter was hacked. So I give you, you know, if Suge wanted to talk to me, he, he know how to, contact me. He contacted me the last time we had an issue, an altercation, so he figured out how to get mm -hmm. to me. So I'm sure he would, you know, I'm sure there's some kind of jail phone in there that kind of, re could, you know, reached to me. I would have never thought in a million years mm -hmm. that Suge would, would say that would put something out there like that or somebody being gay mm -hmm. like that, especially in the time that we're living in where it, it's okay. I had a I had an uncle that was gay, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's nothing wrong with it, so it, it's like it, really corny. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I heard. Like, I, I've never. The, I've met. Look, I've, I've, I've met Will. Will has always been cool, chill. I heard the the little assistant dude come on and and say some something about some some you know ain't no situs, you know whatever that ain't no stuff whatever that is. Like, I don't, I don't know. I'm just saying I heard what the dude said. But for me, Will Smith ain't never like he's always been cool, a cool person. I never. I don't. I don't know. I don't know that side. And I know there's always two sides to a story, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know that side. I know there's a back side, but that's not the side I know. Hmm. Now you see now, you done fucked up, you know that, don't you? After the shoot? When I was, after we was leaving, after, after I left, other people was coming in they, when we was leaving. But you don't remember what they, what they look. I, but you bought the bottle of beer, definitely at twelve fifteen. Yeah, it was twelve fifteen. Like that, if I'm not mistaken. Now you see something. Now you see now. You done fucked up. You know that. Mm-hmm. 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 Yup. Mm-hmm. Yup. Uh huh. I see what I'm saying. I, no, I I thought. No, so you know what I'm saying that you done I, fucked up now. You know that, don't you? <laughs> Tyron. Tyron. 
Tyron, 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 Tyron. What is happening, Tyron? That nigga gay. Which nigga voodoo? That nigga there. That nigga is gay. They say art imitates life. If y'all don't know what art imitating life means, they means basically art, meaning movies, music, all of that is depicted from what happens in real life. That's what art imitates life means. But they lied. I told y'all they telling y'all up is down and down is up. Actually, life is imitating art. Who the thought? Who the thought this nigga had a stuttering problem whenever he lying in real life? He must have improved that one too, like he did the banana. Allegedly. Now, Tyron, that man asked you everything uh to do with Suge. You brought up uh 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 um uh Will Smith. We all know uh what's going on over there. A lot of people still in denial, but that's another talk for another day. This wasn't about Will. This wasn't about your gay uncle. Tyron, this was about you and Jamie. I keep telling y'all, a lot of these black men who go messing with them clear women is because they let them play with their booty. You know what I'm saying? They don't mind if they play with their booty. You know what I'm saying? Actually, they prefer. You know what I'm saying? A black woman to be like, you gay. But see, the clear women let them play with the booty. You know? Girl, Tyron is gay. It's two left shoes. Do you hear me? Him and Jamie, because let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Y'all face be getting plugged. And I don't mean the way you think it means. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, 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 see. Y'all think because they got churn and they find it could never be oh no 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 it could never be but it is jamie fox allegedly he even spoke on jamie with his illness now the whole world was trying to figure out what the fuck going on with jamie but tyra knew what was going on yes he did tyra knew Tyron said he doing good. He was doing all right. You know, he went through a couple of things. He made a full recovery, you know. I was there by his side as his man. I mean, as his friend, as I should be, because I'm his friend, man, friend, you know. He said, but, you know, Jamie pulled through, and that's all that matters. It was prayers. We ushered all the prayer warriors, you know what I'm saying? Look, here you go right here. Look, y'all think I'm bullshitting. 20-something years ago, we just... You know, we just shared the kind of the same kind of energy. Like, you know, I was funny. He was funny. You know, I did an episode of In Living Color. Um, and we just kind of like, it was just like a natural kind of brotherly kind of thing. We just kind of actually just bonded. Like, it was it, it was crazy. How is himself, man? Oh, he's in, he's, he's in great, great. He's in great, uh, great shape. You know what I mean? Um, he's cool. He had a little a little scare, but he got over that. Mm. You know, he got over that fast. He went to, uh, you know, his little rehab and whatever, and he he back. Me personally, it was just like uh, uh like more stress, more. He just had a lot that he was going through, and I it just like some kind of weird nervous breakdown kind of thing where he just like because he was just overworked and he just it just it just went bad. And he just you know he. He, he 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 blanked out, you know what I mean? But it wasn't nothing that it wasn't nothing like overly major to me. He just be uh, Jamie uh uh you know, he's uh, he's dramatic a little bit, you know. We 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 actors. <laughs> I'm not saying the whole thing was an act, but it wasn't totally like, you know what I mean? Super crazy, nothing crazy like that. It's giving life partner. Mm hmm. It's giving next of kin life partner common law. Oh, yes. It's giving emergency contact.
You want to know why they don't be honest, y'all? Somebody just said that in the chat. You want to know why they don't be honest? Because, listen. Listen to me and listen to me good. You have to understand who your biggest consumer is in the black community. Who's the biggest consumer in the black community? I want to see if somebody's going to get it. Who is the biggest consumer? I don't care what the fuck it is. Entertainment, movie, sports. Not necessarily sports. But, well, that too. But. Who is the biggest consumer inside of the black community? There you go. There you go, Lake. Thank you. Right? Black women are the biggest consumer inside of our community. So with that being said, if you are pushed out as a sex symbol, who is going to be the ones to support? Black women. Okay, we love us some Will Smith ever since he did Bad Boys and he came out as uh, 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 what his name was in Bad Boys. Um, um, what's his name? Put it in the chat ever since he came out because before that he was a little weird old crazy motherfucker from from uh, 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 uh Fresh Prince, but when he came out. Mike Lowry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Meek. Ever since he came out as Mike Lowry and he had that suit on with no tie and them pants was fitting and he, we saw he was fine. And he had the glasses and he had the, the, the nice car and all the girls wanted him. He's now a sex symbol. Okay. It's the same thing with all black men in the industry. Why do you think it is? Rest in peace. But I got to say this part. Love has truly been good to me. Luther. Big Lou. Not Lil Ludo. Big Lou. You ain't never seen him with a woman. Everybody in the industry know he was too he was gay as two left shoes. Okay. But if he had came out and told us that he was a little loose wristed, a lot of women wouldn't support. Women support men they fantasize about. So he can't come out and say, you know what I'm saying? I'm a little loose wristed because then we're going to look at you as one of the girls. And then if you one of the girls, when you sing or when you act or whatever it is you do, it don't hit the same. Okay. So with Jamie, Will, Tyron Turner, Tyron played the gangster down there in Minnesota society. We all, if you like bad boys, everybody liked the Tyron, even though he got shot up, girl. Everybody liked the tyrant, girl. He was a real, he was a hard nigga. You know what I'm saying? He can't be that. His image, if his image comes, if, if we found out tomorrow that Will Smith came out and said, I'm gay, I've been gay all my life. All the women who used to fantasize about him, 89, 90% of y'all ain't gonna wanna do it no more. And his stock goes down. You get it? So these people in the industry have to suppress the real them to keep up with the image you and me have in our heads. You get it? So Eddie Murphy, he was found with a doggone trans woman, a TS. Not only Eddie Murphy, let's get into it. Teddy Pendergrass, when he had that accident? Oh, yes. Close the door. Let me be giving you what you've been waiting for. I got so much love to give, and I want to give it all to you. He was talking to a T.S. girl, and ain't nothing wrong with that. But if he had came on here and said that, the women wouldn't have been throwing their drawers at the concert. You get it? Oh, yes, Michelle. Michelle, what you mean, not Teddy? Oh, yes, girl. Everybody knew that girl. What is you saying? Oh, yes, Michelle. Oh, yes. Not Teddy. Oh, yes. Girl, what is you saying? What is you trying to say? Yes. See, but you just showed me, you just proved my point. 
See, not Teddy. What y'all do if it came out this there was a little loose wristed? Put a one in the chat if you if it would change if Denzel came out a little loose wristed. Put a one in the chat if, if your vision of Denzel would change in the next movie. Put a one in the chat if the, if the, when he put the new movie out, you just gonna be like, girl, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Them people have to keep up with an image, y'all, to keep y'all buying their stuff. Okay. So they can't come out. And that's why. Um, your grandma, B. Nikki said her grandma told her about it. Your grandma knew. Everybody knew that, girl. But by the time it came out and everybody knew, Teddy was already old. You know what I'm saying? He, I mean, he wasn't old, but he wasn't like, you know, he wasn't the Teddy from, um, <sighs> no, he still was. He was that Teddy. He was. But you know, that, that Teddy, um, from, um, how I go? Ever since you've been away, oh, I ain't been doing nothing but thinking, 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 thinking. He, you know, or the TKO Teddy. You know, he, he, he that, 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 that TKO Teddy, it just hit me. I think I better let it go. Let it go, baby. Looking back over my years, I guess I shed some tears. You know what I'm saying? I told myself time and time again, this time I'm going to win. Was a love life, things ain't right from losing again. It takes a fool to lose twice and start all over again. You know what I'm saying? That, that Teddy, if, if y'all would have knew Teddy was down there with the girls, y'all wouldn't have been down there at the concert throwing your big draws on the, on the stage. So the part I'm making is, y'all, them people can't be who they want to be. So they got to lie and act like it ain't. But I'm about to fuck y'all head up before we get off of here because I ain't going to be on here too long. Let me fuck y'all head up before we get over here. Oh, girl, that's the one. Stand in. Turn off the lights. Light a candle. Oh, girl, I'm about to put Teddy on when I get off here. Turn them off. Girl, don't give me don't Don't, don't start me. Anyway, listen. Them people can't be what they want to be because y'all don't want to let them be what they want to be. Okay? They say Jay-Z a little loose-wristed, too. I think all them niggas is loose-wristed, if you ask me. I think all them niggas either loose-wristed or had to go through the loose-wrist process to get to where the hell they at. Yes, your fave. The one that had y'all in the chokehold, let's get them back up here. Y'all remember the one that had y'all down there in the chokehold? Let's go get them. Oh, yeah, we got to go get them. Got to go get that part. Because, you know, I think you guys, you know, I want y'all to see it, you know, and maybe it'll hit a little different if you see it, you know, if you see it, it'll hit a little different and you'll, you'll baby, you'll, maybe you'll understand a little different, you know, just imagine, just imagine, just imagine, just imagine all the things that we imagine if you found out, hear me and hear me good. This nigga here, that nigga there, was loose wristed. And he wasn't the one doing the bending. Ooh, girl, it's a lot of y'all gonna be on life support. A lot of y'all gonna be on life support. If y'all found out that your beloved Denzel was not doing the bending, he was actually getting bent. Y'all, I would have, y'all would all need breathing machines. Y'all would need breathing machines. Oh, yes, you would. I seen that in the comments. Y'all would need breathing machines. Do you hear me? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> Grape tea say not John Q, y'all. <laughs> Look at y'all, 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 y'all flashing out at the thought of it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look, special case here, I would. Y'all flashing out at the thought. Y'all got to be strong. 
Dolls, dolls, y'all got to be strong now. Y'all got to be strong. You telling y'all these celebrities gonna set y'all up for the kill? Oh yes, it was Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes. And let me say this part about uh, Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes. Now I wasn't alive around this time, but Harold Melvin was the oldest from Temptations. Ain't nobody to come to see you, Harold. We came to see him, Teddy, and that that tall, light skin when with he was fine too. And on um, you know they used to wear them real tight pants, and his little bulge used to be real big. But you know in the middle part. But listen, ain't nobody come to see no Harold Melvin. We all came to see Teddy. Okay, but yay, if y'all found out, listen, if y'all found out this one right here, this nigga here, which nigga that? That nigga there. If y'all found out he was getting bent and not doing the bending, girl, I would have to call him now. I would have to get 911 on standby before I tell y'all. I would have to make sure a paramedic is on the scene. I would have to make sure a paramedic on the scene because a lot of y'all gonna need oxygen. Mm hmm. A lot of y'all would need oxygen. Now, I don't know this to be true. I'm just saying, just if it was a thing, you know. I would have to have 911 on speed dial, you know. But ultimately, that is what it is. Girl, let me tell y'all something. Tyron Turner is a fruit cup. Um, um, uh, um, uh, 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 Jamie Foxx is a fruit cup, allegedly. Allegedly. I believe, I'll say it like this. I believe all them niggas is fruit cups. And I'm talking about the assorted fruit with the pears and the peaches and the pineapples and all of that in there. Fruit cup, fruit cup, fruit cup. Say what I said. I don't care what nobody said. You guys, if you want to support the channel, just like the video. And if you got a couple of dollars, a coin or two, please hit the cash up. Thank you, Jenny, for the cash app. Says, love you down to the ground. Yes, thank you, Jenny, for the cash app. Thank you, Honey Bunny, for the cash app. For I love you all. Love you too, boo-boo. Thank you, Nikki Nicole, for the cash app. Love you, girl. Great show. Thank you so much. Thank you, Yolanda, uh, for the cash app. Gratitude, my girl. Mashaki, is that how you say your name? Let me, let me go get you. Yeah, Mocha Shake. Is that how you say your name? I'm sorry. Love your content. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you, L Web, for the cash out. Blessings on oh, blessings on blessings on blessings. Like racks on racks on racks. And thank you, Lala, for the cash app, girl. Y'all is coming through. I appreciate y'all. If you listen, you don't have to send me no cash app. Just like the video. Also, please pull up to the birthday bash on Wednesday. We're gonna jokes. We're gonna talk about top topics. And I'm gonna let y'all we're gonna celebrate me at the same time. Duh. It's about me, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, I love you guys. Y'all know how we roll around here. Follow me on all platforms. Uh oh, we got another one. Thank you, Shundi, for the cash app. Thanks for the jokes. Thank you so much. You guys, we gonna joke. Y'all know how we do. Follow me on all of the platforms. Like the video if you have not already. Okay. Michelle said, How do I sleep now after that vision? Michelle, I don't know, girl. I don't know. I'm just telling y'all what they say might be. You know what I'm saying? I'm just telling y'all what they say. Thank you, T. Hayes, for the cash app. Love you, Vu T. Pretty. Thank you, T. Pretty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, y'all. I'm y'all know how we roll around here. Like I said, like the video if you haven't already. Um, I'm a Joe Shaw out here. Like I Joe Shaw up in here. Um, uh, uh I just want to say if it comes out, Denzel is a fruit cup. I just want to say this part. Yeah, it's all yours fault. Y'all mess up the family. Can't you see that? Mm-hmm. Just that part right there. Uh, but I'm going to get y'all up out of here. Love y'all. See y'all tomorrow at Educational Friday, 5 o'clock. Pull up the Educational Friday where we discuss a plethora of things, okay? Pull up the Educational Friday tomorrow. Love y'all. See y'all later. Check one two one two. We live in. Come, come, come on. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Can you can you can you hear me now? Oh, let's go. <laughs> it's your boy Big Chu, the voice of the beat. You know what I want? Blaze up. Come on, Blaze up. It's a beat for me. Wow 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 wow
Why? For your guy, for your B O Y. Drop it for your guy, for your B O Y. Do it for your guy, for your B O Y. Big back, back. Come on, baby, we are. Come on, Blaze, like you know. Drop me a nasty beat. Mr. Carroll, how you give the voodoo dog time to talk? I don't get no fucking time to talk. Who the voodoo dog is? The nigga you just had up here.